<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Water. Water. No, no, it's good. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to yet another Warski Live. How you all doing? I've got uh, a few guests in here right now. We have one more on the way, or two more on the way. We've got JF here. What's up, buddy? Hello. Nice to see you again. It's like uh, it's like a regular thing now that you, that you're on the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got uh, Geek Thulu, my buddy. What's up, bud? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm the one good. And we got Mr. Repsion in here. What's up, dude? How's it going? Good, I can good. only be on for, I can only be on for a short matter of time though, but No worries. All right, cool. Then then before we get into the the main topic and we'll let people pour into the stream uh as as we talk about this, I want to want to clear the air between between you and I cuz we we sort of got into a a Twitter spat about the entire situation eh, it's not not really i don't really consider it that big of a deal honestly yeah we yeah just... yeah no i never i was never i was never pissed or anything but do you, after seeing everything i've been talking about this past week i haven't been... honestly i haven't been really keeping up to date with what you or other people have been saying honestly right. like i have not been keeping up with hardly anything i only knew about like the whole stuff with even like jeff and stuff that just i only found about that out about that stuff this week Cause I don't keep yeah. up to date with people. I really don't. Well, 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 the reason is I'm, I'm bringing this up. Hey, sup failure. How you doing, bud? Uh, the, uh, the reason I, I brought this up was cause you know, the, the right, the conservatives that were invited to the, uh, the Kilroy event, they, they promoted the event. They got people to donate and then based mama started throwing them off the event or not responding to them. All this shit happened. Um, and no one is fessing up and admitting that it, it was wrong. And I talked to Matt today on the Kumite before this show, Tonka saw and Tonka's going to show up too, by the way, but, but fucking yeah, all, all this, all these lies that have been happening, all these things that have been spiraling out of control like i saw you in the chat when i was talking to based mama on the some black guy stream with the event organizers and you you were pretty pissed in the chat i i saw those those things saying that i'm doing this for drama but didn't you at least hear what i said and understand the concerns of not only me but other people slightly i i i don't know that's the thing i don't know all behind the scenes of what I'm coming into a situation not knowing everything, and I fully admit that. All right, I don't, cool. I, don't, I, don't, like, I didn't even know that you had a conversation with Base Mama. I don't know much about Base Mama, hardly at all. I've only spoken to her a few times. But mm. I'm, I'm a very fair and open person. I like hearing everything from both sides. So I judge things accordingly as stuff comes to me. At least yeah. I try to. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, did you watch that um, James Allsup I video I sent you? I, don't, I did not see that. All I saw was uh, that pool, I think Tim Pool. Some tech mm -hmm. dude. That's the only video that I saw. Okay. Whole or, uh, ordeal. Well, well, James Alsup did an amazing video, pretty much dissecting all the problems that they had, including the them promoting the event, big uh, big Alaska, Faith Goldie, uh, all promoted the event. Lauren Southern, and then they were denied their panel, even though that they are the four biggest people that were on the guest speakers list, and that pissed me off. And when I I left uh, Kilroy, when I I announced that I I'm out, I made it on a I, I did that on a stream, and the stream blew up, and everyone's saying I'm doing this for drama. But I feel like since I promoted the event and I'm dropping yeah, out, here's, I I, to, did I did I actually say you're doing this for drama? I don't think I said that. I think uh, you, I came, I think I don't think I said that to you. Um, you I think you, Matt said that. Yeah, Matt said that, but then you agreed with him. Uh, well, let me let me clarify. When I said that I agreed, I think this may be your entertainment style, but I think you get really overly emotional in a lot of things when you do your yeah. videos. That's just my opinion, because as somebody who used to make content, and I used to make content very similar to yours back in the day, like we're talking a few years back, like four or five mm. years ago, mm. I see that sometimes you come across very, and maybe it's passion. I don't know. Maybe it's passion mixed with emotion. But I feel like you're very emotional at sometimes, and that can cloud your judgment. Yeah, but but on on this, I I think the clouding of my judgment wasn't based on what's happening right now. It's based on on the past. I used to have my judgment clouded on other things, and it was on 
you know, f- false. I, I don't know what happened in the past. That's the thing. I'm I'm completely unaware, as I said. See, see, I I think uh, I used to be overly emotional about shit, and I would defend my friends blindly. And I think this past week has been me, uh, not not following people blindly, and then people are giving me shit about it, and therefore. I'm, I'm, I'm reacting and I have to defend myself on all these people saying, oh, you're just doing this for drama streams. And look, I also, uh, I'm aware that people enjoy watching this type of shit, but we're talking about things that actually affect our community. And if we're against doxing or if we're for free speech, that we should all be speaking out about all this stuff. And people seem to not want to be talking out about all this, all, all these things that have been happening and it's in my opinion quite cowardly and i'm not saying you're coward i'm saying because you didn't know what was happening and i and i understand all that but i've just been you know fuck it i'm gonna give my true emotions of how i felt because the kilroy event i've had a bad a a feeling in my stomach for a long time and this stuff just fucking uh, uh solidified my my gut feeling you know what i mean Okay, so it's been stacked up over over time then. It's been a time. lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of things. Uh, me uh, trying to get my own panel and then being de- uh, denied, um, uh, and that wasn't even the reason. I was still I was still going. That just was the first instance of me being pissed off. It was the uh, blocking people from actual free speech because Base Mama was saying, "Oh, it has to be only conversations about free speech when." Obviously, if you're blocking these people who are talking, who promoted your event, it's not about free speech. That's that's all I was saying, and I want to just just clear, a, a clear the air. Um, and I want to make you at least um, like tell the people because a lot of people have been like either talking shit or angry at you, and I want you to just give your side of the story fairly on the platform that this has all been happening on. Okay, so what story do you want me to give exactly? Well, I just wanted to, because uh, everyone's really pissed at you right now on Twitter. I know they are, but I don't know. I honestly don't understand. It's because that I'm attending a convention. I don't understand why people are pissed at me. I truly don't. Because so far, even for like Tonka, he's told me to pick a side. I don't even know what he's talking about. Pick a side. I, pick I, side. I, think, I think. I don't. Uh, I truly don't know. I don't live on Twitter reading and looking at every, what, every, all people's little personal beefs with one another. I don't. I'm in school full time and I work and I don't do YouTube full time no more. So, I, I think what, what I would say this is more than just a person. Whoa, failure, oh. failure. Your mic, your mic is busted, dude. I I think what well while failure figures that out. I think what I think what the main, but, uh, main problem is here, uh uh Repsion, is that it, it seems that that you, that you uh almost uh clearly come out on a side whereas like you say, you don't know exactly what's going on which is fine if you don't know but when when it when you almost have an appearance of just really kind of falling on one side and 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 social media is a very reactionary crowd of people so you know well what side am i falling on though that's what i'm asking it it appears that i'm attending the event no no not that at all no 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 no. uh it it just it just has has an appearance where you're kind of standing on a defense of of, of Kilroy um, well I kind of am considering that all right, of the but if you don't know for no reason but but if you don't know the facts uh, can you really truly defend and then under and can you not then understand why some people may want to uh, crucify you you know <laughs> it's like if you don't know something about something which is fine but you shouldn't really fall on a side. You should just kind of remain neutral and try to figure it out. I, and see I, what's think, going I, I on. think I have been fairly neutral. I, well, I haven't, I I haven't think, seen a display of me not being neutral. That's why I'm on here right now is because I'm open to hearing what people have to say. All right, cool. Because uh, I think people just are making uh, these judgments on you right now, primarily because of the uh, of the reaction on Twitter. And again, I'm not bringing you on here to hate on you or start shit i just want you to to know what everyone was thinking and i want to clear your name on 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 this stuff it's just you're you're defending matt's tweet about the drama stuff and that we're just we're starting shit and like you went pretty well, I, I can i can definitely i feel that way but i'm open to be proven wrong can i don't know all the facts about stuff i'm just i'm gonna keep saying that i don't know everything 
But so would you from, say... from an outside perspective with nobody with nobody with any context, that's how it looks to me. And I'm I could be completely wrong. But, but would you but would you say like uh, that that it's unfair for people to to uh, to maybe try to correct you and 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 ensure yeah maybe unfair? some people no, I'm always open to be corrected on stuff. Yeah, awesome. but can I correct you on the fact that oh. I am I am definitely not passive aggressive. Say whatever you want, but but I'm definitely not passive aggressive. I well, when you tell me to pick a side and you don't elaborate on what you mean, I by never that. asked you to pick a side. I'm pretty sure you did, unless I no, I didn't. Recall I, no, no, no. I asked you how many of your feet were you willing to sell to pay back the people of Gilroy? No, there was. We had quite a few Twitter exchanges. No, we didn't have Twitter exchanges. You retweeted my shit to your fucking fans because you couldn't acknowledge me. That's what you did. Uh, that's what I drew with everybody. That's called acknowledgement. That's not an interaction with me, though. Especially when you stop answering it once I'm very, very direct with you. I didn't see answering. that. I have fifty thousand followers that, but you, on Twitter. You saw everything else I said until I was really direct with you. Is that what you're saying? I, what, what, were, what, what were you direct with me with? What I just said, motherfucker. What kind of hoe are you? I'm a big hoe. You want to buy some of my feet pictures? Oh, yeah. May I actually ask you about that real quick? Uh, I'm uh, happy to sell some. So, so you sell pictures of your feet. I heard massaging your feet with oil. I've never done the massaging feet with oil. Oh, okay. that's, re that's a request thing, yeah. Some, okay. people, some people like that stuff. And and underwear and and like use socks and stuff. Yep, absolutely. So you, no shame, no gain. Hey, dude, I know yo, people can make fun of people can make fun of me as much as they want. It doesn't bother me at all. Like, trust me, I I get it. It's a weird thing, but hey, it makes me money. So that's what ultimately matters. How, how much do you make off a used pair of boxers? I've only sold two, and I've made four hundred dollars. I sell them for two hundred each. Yep. All right. <laughs> Andy, we in the wrong damn game, man. <laughs> hey, Tonka, if you want to buy a pair, I mean, I'll wear them for a week just for you. I'm not into 14 year old girls. Oh. <laughs> hey, Repsion, can I ask you Savage. something? Serious question. Is it in relation to what we're talking about here? Yeah. Ask away. Okay. Are you getting, how are you getting compensated for Kilroy? I'm not being compensated. I'm going. There are you for getting free. any? Are you getting anything for Gilroy? Are you getting a free plane ticket, a hotel room, anything? That would be a confirmed yes. That's okay. what you do when you go to conventions. What? That, that, Dude, that's all I wanted to ask. That's compensation, you lying hoe. It's not Reps a compensation. That's well, not yeah, well, compensation. Then Repsion. Then why? wasn't i offered anything and not even offered anything but denied every convention i've ever went to every convention i've ever went to i've never had a convention not pay at least a hotel or a flight well failure 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 your mic failure your mic is, is fucking awful it's a, it's a different form of compensation but but but, but my point is is and this is why i'm so pissed about this shit is i hear that you know, you're being compensated with at least your flight. So is Monday and Matt. Uh, speakers are being paid. Other people are being paid. Christina Hoff Summers is being paid. And the guy and other people as well who promoted the event weren't being paid. I don't, I don't know the context behind that. But if that's true, then that's wrong. Exactly. Right. There. Repsion, uh, one more question. Know, Andy. Yeah, yeah, it's good, dude. All right, Repsy, on one more question about Kilroy, then I'll let y'all re at each other for a while. Um, okay, so you're getting compensated with that. But are you... Um, I'm trying to think. What was the fucking question now? I just lost it. Y'all keep going. I'll remember it in a second. Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's all those hard drugs that Johnny's on. Yeah. Uh, hang on. It intro $10. Thanks, buddy. That, wait, I, he just I, paid I been... $10 to comment on something. He's been talking about how much he doesn't care about for the past week on Twitter. Shame yeah, he goes, I've been looking into it, but I've been missing shit too. It's a fucking, it's a fucking, a fuck ton of bullshit. Hard to know. You don't know everything until someone shows you. Gotta try to stay up for, open for new info. Yeah, I think a lot of, uh, and I understand, Repsion, it's been hard. I would never, I would never attend a convention if I wasn't, if a flight, or a hotel was not being paid for. See, I, would never I, do that. I, I was going to be paying for my plane ticket and my hotel ticket well, I, and not I'm, being paid at all. 
Well, I'm I, not I, being paid for my flight's not being paid for. I'm, I'm telling oh. you that right now. Yeah, it's not I, like they're not paying for everything. I'm paying that out of my own pocket, and I'm I'm going to do that. So, so I want to attend the event, whether or not it's a shit show or not. And here's the thing, and I I mean this, and you, people can hold me accountable to this. If this event is going to be horrible and it turns out to be a shit show, I will fucking let people know that. Because I'm somebody who goes to conventions on a regular basis. I've spoken at conven- conventions. I've done panels before. And if it's a bad experience, I will let people know. All like, right, there's no cool. bias from me at all when I'm going there. I want to go there because I have fans who have already purchased tickets who want to see me and want to meet me. So that's why I'm going. I'm still going to, to Arizona to, to do a bar crawl with the, uh, the people who paid to see me because I feel bad and I don't want to, I don't want to make them pay and not see me, but I have to stick to my g- guns on this one. But uh, fair enough. I think, I think you just were more unaware than anything, but just dude, don't take mundane Matt side. Yeah, when you want to stay out of it. I don't, know what, I don't know what you mean by mundane Matt's, What the fact that you were Look, being like, old, it, like, you were- like his tweets and stuff that again, you've, you've stopped being on his side, but on that first day, I'm like, look, I, I love you and I love Monday and Matt and I don't want you you guys dying on the wrong hill and defending this shit to the death. It's just making everyone look bad. Yeah. In my opinion. But right. I think you're cool because you didn't know and it, it all makes sense. It's all cool, man. It's all good. All right, Repsian, I do remember the question now. Were you offered that up front or did you negotiate that package? Uh, I actually don't recall because it was like two weeks ago. Okay. Um, I think it was just in the contract, I think, or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I'd have to look it over again. So is there a contract? Been offered to. Is there a contract then? Uh, what do you mean? No, there's absolutely a contract. That's confirmed. Then why was uh, Monday Matt just lying to me on the Kumite? I talked to Sister Danger for four hours the other night. You don't get promoted without signing the contract. Yeah, that, that's the same reason Monday and Matt lied so to you when he Monday said he, he Matt. didn't upload rags forever ago. He wants to pretend that he's not doing all of this shit, that he's not doing damage control. That's what Matt wants to fucking pretend. Matt's a fucking hoe. Monday and Matt is... Come on, I'm the real hoe here. You want to buy my feet pictures or not, dude? By the way, you, gotta, you shouldn't have told Medicare that, by the way. You shouldn't have told Medicare you, you that. Done, you done goofed. Oh, yeah. God, I don't care. The consequences will if never be the same. If you want to make a video about me, go for it. If you want to make a whole video on my feet, more publicity for me, I'll get more clients. All right. I got a question for you, uh, Repstown. Are you against uh, calling out your friends in public when they do shit? Uh, it depends on what it is. It depends on the severity of it. Then you're, you're fucking scummy, dude. Well, you would, you, would, would you say? Would you say Wait, that? Who, who are actually would my friends, say, though? That's, that's not. No, that's not the question. That's not what is contingent on. I think well, that's I a think good question. It is, it is for me oh, because I was a lot of people who I'm not right. friends with that I follow and watch on YouTube. All right, you're your well, quote unquote friends, the people you interact with on on uh, you know YouTube normally, the people that you you know have high Twitter interaction with. Okay, add, what a, about add, add a caveat to that. Also, you know. You don't you don't see anything wrong. Like, would you not call someone out that, that that's doxing and and oh, potentially I 100%, mis- misappropriate? 100% would. And, if somebody's then, doxing, okay, for, for, for like, okay, this whole crowd thing, you know, that happened. I just found out about this literally a few days ago. All right, um, and, and I removed. I, I removed my just entire give me one video. Second, just give me one second, uh, Rep. Because I had a, a, another part to that. And then also people that are misappropriating funds and not being completely transparent to a publicly funded event. Yeah. Okay. What was your question again about the publicly you know, funded event? Yeah. It's a, the Kilroy events, a publicly funded event. And, and when you're collecting funds from, from the public, you, you're going to, you have to have some sort of transparency so they can see where their money is being invested in this event. And to have NDAs that, that, that say, Oh, we can't talk about financial shit about Kilroy. No, you should. Well, because most, I don't know any conventions that do that though. Right. But they're usually right, privately a, funded. They're yeah, usually this is privately a funded. funded event. And second, well, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was. It, if it, I don't how know, I come, didn't even know it was privately, or no? Is it crowd, crowd funded, or privately funded? I don't even come, know. May I, wait, uh, may I say one thing before we continue? Uh, just to everyone, we will be talking about the rage thing in a couple of minutes. Because that's I, what I came on here to talk about the rage thing. All right, cool. Yeah, we can I'm move really on. Not the person I, I, to be talking I, about Kilroy. Yeah, we can move on. I'm going there um, to speak. 
I'll That's drop. It. Then you I, should, I'd rather you talk should about stop range, cause... ball washing Kilroy and stop talking about it if you can't fucking defend it and you're not the guy to defend it. Just, 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 just said it yourself. Yes, just to answer real quick, it. Like, it was it was public publicly funded and also promoted by people that are uninvited later on. Yeah, well, people I don't know. Whose I don't images know that were used. Here's what I hate. Here's what I hate about you people is that you, I, I tell you something basic that you could look up and see, and your answer is, well, I, I just don't know. And I get you. Send it to me, dude. Send it to me. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up, Repsion. It's not send it to you. It's shut your fucking dick liquor until you know what the fuck you're talking about, you stupid hoe. No, I'm not gonna shut my mouth because I want to be informed. I'm just, I want to be informed. Then go get informed and shut the fuck up. I don't even know what you're talking to get about. Informed, you get okay. It. Well, okay. Sean, how long? I fucking go to sign... school full time and I fucking work. Okay, that's okay. How long? I don't sit on Twitter sign... like you okay. all day, okay. retweeting people, we replying to every fucking person. How I want to be informed. If you can't inform me on something, then fucking you shut the fuck up. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. How long? Let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Andy, speak. Speak, Andy. All all I'm gonna say is the. The only thing that they're saying, and and Repsion, I think he he's heard this loud and clear, is that, it, like, we shouldn't be defending something if we don't know the full information. I agree with it. what you're saying. Cool, I don't cool. see. I don't no, see. No, I'm fine with you, Repsion. Me and you are cool, man. Okay, wait, I don't see how I've defended anything other than the question. fact that Hold I'm on. telling people that I'm going to go there. How long? No, the tweets. Repsion, how about, the tweets. The tweets. It's all how long ago did you sign the contract? And, Andy, Andy, Repsion. Andy, send him the video that you sent me before the one. Send it directly to my explains. DMs and I will watch sure. it. Yeah. I sent it to you twice, dude, contract? on on at replies, but I'll send it to you through uh, through here. How long, do. Now, How long ago did like you sign to watch the contract, it. Repsion? Huh? How long ago did you sign the contract? Like a week weeks? and a half ago, two weeks ago. Well, three weeks ago, they were using your image to promote this. If you yes, decided not to sign the contract, they wouldn't have been able to promote you. So they would have been using your image to get money from your fans to something you weren't attending. You don't no. have an issue with that? I actually never thought about that. Now well, the exactly, other dude, so another... I'm gonna send you this link, dude, and and it'll open up your eyes on, on all this shit, dude. Another another question I have because because uh, I, I I know I know you know you you have you have your channel and, and, and your and your public image and and it's sort of a business for you, and and, and you're attending events, you're you're becoming part of things. Now, wouldn't you say that there's a due diligence that you have to actually investigate what you're going to become part of? Um, or do you just accept any public speaking or, or, or convention event that you could just show up to HitlerCon? I mean, do, do you not investigate yeah. things? Because this is this is exactly Comic what Cons? got... No, no. Okay, hold this on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is the first oh, convention I'm ever talking. attending. Ho, ho, hold on. Hold on. It, it, this is sort of like the problem that Monday Matt ran into before with Candid. You know, you're accepting a sponsorship or you're becoming part of something and, and associating your, your business identity to this without any type of research. And this ends up, uh, you know, causing people to, un, uh, to, to, see, to see you in a completely different light. And I think understanding what you're becoming part of is probably the most important thing, especially if you're, you're some sort of business or, or, or entertainment entity. You really need to be careful with what your image is. I agree with you 100%. Then why haven't you checked it out? Repsia. Because I haven't had the time. That's, the bullshit. Time that's, but that's, that's a bullshit dick. excuse. That's that a bullshit, bullshit excuse. It, it's literally that's fine. Person. That's fine if you think that. But I don't have. I haven't had the time. That's why I haven't seen anything. Repsion, ain't nobody thinking anything. We know it. We're listening to you say it. We know. You're the one who thinks and assumes and does all this stupid shit. It's, think it's people have to put up with it because of the number by your name. It's a the cursory. number on my name. Man, you cursory. talk a lot of shit, dude. It's a cursory search to the Kilroy website a couple weeks ago before this all blew up. And all these people's faces were on there used to market their product. And there's their no faces way. on there too before you even signed a contract. And you're just okay. Yeah, it was. And I've, 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 my face has been on stuff before I've signed contracts before because but I told them that they were the able to do that. Yet, guys, guys, I think no, that I, uh, I think that that Repsion gets all of our points. He understands. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Repsion, do you just agree with everyone that maybe next time? Uh, like we should look deeper into it. I, I, well, here's I'm the thing. I'll, I'll say this. I should have investigated further into it. I should have, but right. I haven't. Okay. All right, All right. Fair enough. Cool. There. That's. Right. Can, that's I, I really want to talk I, about I, this. Adam, 
Adam, yeah, can we, yeah, same can here, we same agree? Thing. Hey, Adam, can we agree that uh, all the events that led up to this week, I wish none of that shit would have ever happened because this like I, as of right now, I don't even know with that Dave uh, Dave Cullen pulled out. He deleted his Twitter. I, I I'm completely what? under the bus of all this stuff. Dave Cullen deleted his Twitter. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he did. He did. Oh shit! I I actually talked yeah. to him a week ago. B before I made my video, I just wanted to like, cause I respect him. I messaged him and like, hey, just so you know, I'm pulling out. And he's like, no worries, so am I. I'm posting a video right now. By the way, here's my email. I'm erasing my Twitter very soon. So, uh, I don't did, blame. Did he that. did he I'm ever make an that. announcement why he was like deleting his Twitter? I mean, cause that just see, I I understand he's got like a family issue, and, and he's got to deal with that. But that just seems kind of, kind of like, a little too radical. No, no, I'll I'll, I'll say because uh, James Alsup and him are, are buddies, and he's friends with a lot of people on the right there who were kicked off, and I guess a lot of people, uh, they share a lot of the same audiences, so he's been getting a lot of fucking shit, and, and with his, fa his family issue right now, he just can't ha handle that stress, and you can't... Like we, none of us can bitch at his emotion right now because of his mother passing away, and I oh shit like I you know, know what that. I mean yeah, yeah. so so I c I couldn't even imagine being part of this shit if that happened to me so we can't even blame the dude that, the man can do what he wants yeah, yeah. anyway um uh so now that that's cleared out of the way uh Repson, I appreciate you answering those questions Tonka Jesus Christ man you brought the Kumite right into here didn't you I I can't help it. Everyone good, go good, subscribe good, good to, good to Tonka Saw. Well, I have everyone's link there. Go sub to everyone. Tonka Saw, best fucking morning show. Go subscribe. Everyone go watch that. Every morning it's fantastic. Uh, see, Tonka, I'll, I'll keep promoting you until you're fucking famous, you can't dude. can't fucking help it, I know. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so the whole... Okay, now, uh, sorry, JF. Uh, we just have to clear that up. But JF's here, too, because I saw something on, on uh, Twitter today. Someone leaked... A, everyone's leaking shit now. Don't post stuff in private servers anymore. <laughs> There's no point in in posting stuff in private servers. Uh, that that he says that I have my testicles still in his hand uh, about the rage thing until and I spoke to Tree Logic today on the Kumite um, uh, about the the race realism uh, realism thing. What happened on my show and that entire situation. Um, and I am here to say, I said it's on Kumite already, but I'll say it here uh, in front of my audience that what happened on that stream was we were, me personally, my, my intentions were just uh, calling out the sources she used in the link. Um, and also I misrepresented her last week when I said that she said black people don't have abstract thinking. When I rewatched the stream to to like, cause after I was I was called out on that uh, by Trio Logic, I went on the stream and I watched it, and she didn't say that it was one of her sources had that, and we were talking about that source for a while. She never said that. Um, and what happened after all that shit is fucked up. The doxing to her, you know, to her work that she was at. Uh, the bullying that sent her uh, uh, offline. And I, I, I'm I truly sorry to rage uh, about everything that, that that happened with that situation and for, for straw manning or misrepresenting. And I'm a fucking idiot for doing that. And like now looking more into the race realism thing, I could see that races are obviously real and there are difference are differences with different races um when we look at averages and all that stuff so i fucked up and i'm sorry that she had to deal with kraut and jeff continuously hammering her until she uh, deleted her channel and uh after looking at medicare's preview of today's episode which i'm sure we're all excited to watch it'll be about out in about an hour or two um the preview where Jeff is saying we bullied her, we bullied her right offline on my show and someone actually had screenshotted, I during that stream, they screenshotted like him with text under what he was saying and my response to him was I never bullied her because I was always open to talking to her and having her, her, having her on the show. I messaged her plenty of times. Um, I understand she was going under a lot of stress because of what Kraut was doing and he took it way too fucking far. 
And I'm very, very sorry that that, that fucking happened. Can, can I uh, ask? Go ahead, JF. Well, yeah, just just to answer to his apology. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you just demonstrated one of the best apologies in the entire history of YouTube. And it's oh. very touching to hear you because you are clearly recognizing what you did wrong. It wasn't that wrong, to be honest. You were not the, the worst actor in this case. His uh, first one he gave was pretty good too, JF. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I will note that there were other apologies this week. Uh, one, no, from no, just this Jeff uh, one from Jeff Holliday uh, about lying on your show. Have you watched the uh, Jeff Holliday apology? I, I only, honestly watched only 25 minutes of it. And then I, I heard uh, what he was because I've been really busy lately. And uh, but I did hear from Tonka and a bunch of people on the Kumite when we were talking about it that he didn't give a full apology. He apologized to uh, uh, about only one thing and didn't apologize to me for fucking lying to my face about three times um, and backpedaling. So I'm not sure. So what do you think about that, JF? Yeah, I do think that your reading is correct. The apology is not complete. Uh, I don't know if we're ever going to get a full apology from Jeff. It seems that he's really confused about the totality of what he's lied about. Uh, it's good that he's there on the public space saying, I lied, I lied. But he seems to be recognizing a single lie, which he had ev not even done on your stream, but on a previous stream on that day. He doesn't seem to be recognizing that the entirety of what he claimed about not being involved in the doxing activities and the research activities on Coach Red Pill is false. Now, that uh, it, it's still good to hear you. And, and to go back to the subject of rage, I find that you, what you are saying, what you are recognizing as relatively bad behavior that you've had is is really complete. I mean, what you just named in the last five minutes is everything that you've ever done wrong in that case. And in fact, you were an agent of peace in that situation. But unfortunately, you were co-opted by other people who were mad intended. And Jeff uh, and the, the Mr. Mitaker audio showing Jeff saying, we bullied her. Uh, this makes me think about how on the internet often we join mob phenomena without wanting it. Do you feel that you've been joining a mob phenomena without wanting it? Yeah, well, uh, what happened, I mean, with that case, and I'll be completely honest with you, during that stream, um, you know, some black guy, uh, Jeff Holiday, and Kraut, who were there, um, they were the ones who were sort of talking about this video, and I'm like, all right, let's do a stream about it, and I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so when Kraut was talking about all his, you know, research and science and all this stuff, I just took... Uh, I, I, you know, benefit of the doubt that he was, he was being correct and he was right on this. And that was through basically, uh, you know, uh, knowing him as a friend and following that mob mentality. And it's fucking stupid when you're looking at only one side. That's why I wanted Rage to, c to come on so I could talk to her about her point of view. Uh, and that would have been, I think, way fucking better if that all, yeah. all, all happened. But... Uh, I just took the benefit of the doubt, and I think a lot of people, uh, myself included, have been following the mob mentality in case you're afraid of pissing off a YouTuber with a lot of subscribers or anything like that or like an old friend of yours. But I think we have to be able to call each other out if we do fuck up and don't be a little bitch about it and just take it. And we could still be friends. Even if people fuck up, if they apologize and they're honest about it and genuine, I'll forgive anyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, excellent. Uh, so what, what's the opinion of the other people here on the stream about the Rage After Storm thing? Oh, I, w I was livid as shit. And, and like, I lost a ton of respect for Andy uh, when that happened. Um, when when he was like participating in like just like the, this mob mentality. And, and then when I, when I watched the stream, I saw so many things being taken out of context. And and granted, I don't I, I don't agree with uh, a lot a majority of Rage's views on race, but she was also using studies and she was, uh, you know, conveying those studies. She was she wasn't saying I personally feel this way. She was using the study. So. so let me let me ask you guys a question. If she hadn't cited the Daily Stormer and cited, uh, what's the fucking book? That other one, yeah, it was. You guys know the book I'm thinking about. Um, the Bell oh, Curve. If she oh, had cited the Bell Curve instead of the Daily Stormer. Would you have had the same issue with it? 
Well, to, well, to be fully yeah. honest, with with the bell curve and with the daily stormer, even I had no idea what those things were at all. I just took the benefit of the doubt what my friends were telling me, and I just accepted it blindly. Because again, mm. I'm not well researched into all this stuff. I just like hosting shows with a bunch of friends and and having fun. Andy's been admitting this all day. Like he he went along with what his <laughs> friends were saying in the thing, and you can never do that again, Andy. Not Never, not with me, no. not with anybody else. If you don't go along with it, don't go along with it. I I think that her approach was was really shit, and I think she knew that she was gonna rile people up. I don't think she knew how she would end up riling people up with that. Video. Well, well, how do you think she riled people up with just her her sources or or? What? I think the sources might have played a part in it because the things she's saying, amongst for the most part the academic community, aren't really debated. They're just accepted, mm -hmm. and if, if you if you notice the people who have been the most vocal against the race realism debate are the ones who won't talk about it at all. Crouton T, uh, uh, Base Mama made a video on it. Jeff made a video on it. None. I've tried to get all three of them on streams to talk about it. And nobody wants to. No, it's simple. These if people you don't talk about it, there's a reason. There's no subject that should be to the point where you can't talk about it and have a goddamn discussion. I and if it does get to the so thing where you lose, well, if you lose an argument and you do anything other than accept that you lost an argument or come back another day with a better argument to beat it on merit, then fuck off. You can't do this shit where you try to ruin people's lives because you can't come up with a better fucking internet argument. It ain't that deep, boy. It ain't that in fucking it, deep. In this yeah, environment. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, right. hey, man, may I ask, uh, Repsion, uh, uh, what's your opinion on everything that's happened on, on the situation? With Rage After Storm? Yeah, and, and my apology right now, and then all the... No, I'm, I'm glad I'm... I'm Okay, again, I was very unaware of this up until this week. I'm glad that you are speaking out against it, because as somebody who has had my numbers leaked three different times, my uh, address, two apartments I've lived have been doxxed, I know what doxing is like, and it's horrible. It's fucking horrible. Hell, I had the FBI visit me. I'm sure you guys all know about that. Yeah. Um... I'm I'm glad that you're not. I'm glad that you're speaking out against. I don't know. Yeah, because what, what do you want me to say? Because I feel. Well, no, I'm, you, I'm just asking your opinion. Yeah. Because uh, I never even you? saw Rage's uh, original video, so like I just know about it or whatever. People have told me that it was racist or that she the was racist. The original video or whatever wasn't it was. really that. Uh, yeah, the, the, the video like itself. I, I I had no problem with the video. It was the sources, and then when everyone DM'd me about doing a live show about it, they were like, "Look at her sources, what she's using." I had no idea what those websites were. They they were telling me, "Oh, it's Nazi this, Nazi that, blah blah blah." And so I, we did the stream, right? I think anybody who attempts to contact someone's personal workplace, no matter how you know vile their personal ideology or beliefs are. Even if they're a Nazi, whatever it be, like, obviously, if you're a Nazi, you're probably going to have consequences based upon your beliefs. But what I'm saying is, like, going to somebody's work to contact them. I've had people contact my college that I go to, which was stupid because I've been vocal about where I go to college and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's wrong and should always be condemned by everybody, all parties. And if somebody is doxing somebody like that, the people involved need to be vocal about it. Like you're being vocal about it right now on live on stream. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you asked me yesterday. You're the first person. You're the first person I've seen with this new information that's come out this past week that's been vocal about condemning that action. Yeah, and I respect yeah. you for that, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, because you asked me, and thank you, but you asked me yesterday. You asked me an honest question. You were just like, yo, Andy, if you had heard about this before, why didn't you speak up? And I just tweeted you back, honestly, I was being a fucking faggot. I was joining in with a crowd. I was just being a cowardly <laughs> and, you know, that, faggot. That, that happens. That happens. That's why I don't consider myself very, I don't have many friends on YouTube because I don't want to be clouded by other people's judgment or defending my friends for doing the wrong things. I don't, I'm not very close. I'm not very close to anybody here on YouTube. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. I want to keep it that way. Yeah, and you know what? I think with this forum of what I'm doing with live shows and just having anyone on who could say whatever, even if you hate each other, I think that's probably the most honest way of of, of dealing with YouTube because I think after VidCon, there was this whole dick-sucking fest where we're all like, oh my God, I love everyone, and oh, <laughs> they, oh, we should be friends with everyone, and then it clouds our actual opinion and what we actually want to say or what the fucking truth is, and... That's, I think, 
I think was the biggest problem. I'm not saying be a fucking like if I have a problem with you, Repsion, like like I uh, we did have a little spat. I bring you on my show, we talk about it. I have no problem with you, and I I, I don't want people thinking I have a fucking problem with you. Uh, I did it at that time, but I'll just tell you to your face. If you hate me, fucking cool. If you don't, fucking cool, and we can just move on with our lives as long as we fucking say the fucking truth. Because too much of this, you know, and and I feel like a piece of garbage for. Like, uh, it was Skullduggery and Billy Bong, the two dudes, were DMing me, and they were like, Andy, why aren't you calling out Kraut for fucking DMing, or not DMing, at, at replying Rage's work, or her, in, her, her internship? And I was just like, you know, uh, like, I didn't want to piss off Kraut or anyone, because I was, I was just being a pussy, just being a straight-up fucking pussy, and I think... Um, I think I've learned a fucking very valuable lesson, and I wish I wish Kraut had learned a lesson. Apparently, he had he, he had had a big spaz attack on fucking Discord recently that was leaked of him not like just backpedaling on his apology and everything that happened. He's just fucking being insane right now. He's being a psychopath. Kraut, if you're listening to this, stop being a fucking moron. Just stop being a fucking Id- idiot and stop being emotional about everything. Because your your inaction about like calling crowd out uh, is so much better than the alternative of some black guy Jeff Holiday actually going out and defending and in, in throwing things up. Oh, I was a paid intern. It was it wasn't it was, it was an internship. Uh, she didn't get paid. And, uh, it doesn't just, matter if you're being paid yeah. or not. You don't contact someone's place of work. I would say this for any even people. If I didn't like somebody, I would I would defend them in this area. Like you just don't do that. It's not okay. Mm. I, I, really don't, of, sorry, I kind of don't understand why race realism is even a controversial topic at this point. The shit's been known for 20 fucking years now. No, yeah, you're right. I you mean, know, it's, 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 been, why. it's, it's been there it's forever, a, and now people are bitching about it for some reason. It's a well, controversial but, topic because it's an uncomfortable subject to talk about. And well, I, I, I think a lot of people have a problem with it. There, there, there's a difference between using the science to prove a fact, and then there's a difference between using the science to support a, a racist view. Because there that's, are a lot of people that will use the science in order to support their bigoted views. That's exactly what I said on the video I made. It's the knowledge that doesn't hurt you. It's what you do with it. If yeah. I could just uh, pound through a couple of super chats, and then we'll continue, uh, just so I can, because it's starting to pile up. Harambe and... In Guantanamo, uh, five dollars. Race is real. The the Guardian, five dollars. Mr. Repsion, why would you throw your opinion in on a topic you know nothing about? Haven't looked up or paid attention to at all. And I'm sh- like, yeah. Do you want to answer that? Well, my natural my natural response is to be defensive when people come at me when I don't know all the facts. All right, cool. That's my response. All right, and- maybe, that's, maybe that's a character flaw of mine. But if I don't know all the information and people are coming at me. My natural thing is to just be defensive. Yeah. So All right. Cool. I don't know. I don't really know how else to answer that question. Cool. It's honest. Uh, a tz tzi five dollars. Rage had bad sources, but was attacked. Worski redemption arc is the best arc, though. Don't do meth. Uh, look what it did to Matt. Stick to classy cocaine, and that's a rest uh, a reference <laughs> from the morning of the Kumite, where I said the only way I'll go to Kilroy is. Twenty-five thousand dollars, a ball pit, and drugs, and that's that's what we were talking about. And then Matt told me Arizona only has meth, so I wasn't happy about that. Anyway, super male vitality, two dollars fourteen eighty-eight is the new seventeen seventy-six. Charles uh, Charlie Johnson, two bucks. So rage uh, didn't do nothing. Uh, Luke Blight, sixty-nine, two bucks. Adam or Andy or Adiemi, sup. Sup, buddy? Uh, Batman's pet goldfish, two bucks. Tonka's still playing with his trucks, I imagine. <laughs> Rimshi, <laughs> Rimshi, five dollars. Why are you letting this become a, a the cunt stream? You're benefiting in the short run, but you're gonna kill your channel this way. No, I think my channel was dying anyway, and having a bunch of friends on talking about different subjects is more entertaining than just me yapping about uh, how I hate feminism. Uh, E-Man, $10. The name calling is getting immature here, and he donated that while Tonka was on his fucking rampage. Tonka? (laughs) Hey, Tonka. He's gone. Oh, he's fucking gone. He, he's muted, but he needs to. He needs to chill on the hose. He That's left the internet. 
Yeah, and then I'll read one more for now. Uh, TK Mall, five dollars. Y'all making matters worse. Get out of Kraut's business. It has a little nothing to do. It has a little or nothing to do with you. For fuck's sakes, spotting my boy LSD radical. Uh, it actually has a lot to do with us. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm involved in the, the entire situation. It all started on my show. So go fuck your mother and thank you for your five dollars. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah. Thanks for giving me money to talk shit to you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so so this race subject, I guess the reason it's been super controversial is because it's talking about <clears throat> a differences in race and the possibility of some races having less of something or more of something else, which sounds racist, um, but when we're talking about true science here, which... JF knows a lot about, which is why I have JF on this stream, and not to mention he's my buddy. Uh, so JF, what was your thoughts on Rage's video? Well, I'm actually reviewing it very late because I was not aware. I, I, I When I see, look at the history now, I understand that your stream, your uh, talk here was crucial in the old Rage After Storm uh, thing. But that I didn't know because when I started making response video to Kraut, I didn't know about the Rage After Storm thing. Now I started reviewing it. And I'm about to prepare a full video saying, where is she right? Where is she wrong? But I just want to bring something that will be entertaining, which is my first four positions that I've extracted from her video. And I'd like to hear you guys about what, what do you think about what she stated there? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I heard from, uh, from her main points in that video is that the term sexism and racism have been used as tools of advancement by SJWs or leftists to violate individual rights. And she, yes. sta she states as an example, affirmative action and custody rights in family courts, which are uh, to the advantage of women in the US. Would you say she, she is right on that statement? Uh, anyone want to go first or geek? So may you repeat that first? Uh, the first part. Okay, so let me repeat our statement. So the idea is the word sexism and racism and the concepts that are associated to it have been used as manipulative tools by leftists and yeah. SJWs to violate individual rights. Did yes, you say yes. manipulative tools? Yeah, sorry. I was reading the chat at, like while you were say, saying that the first time. Sorry. But yeah, yeah. No, I agree that those words have been uh, used. Uh, I don't really mean much anymore. People. I'll take that a step further and agree with what Repsion said. They've been used so much, not only do they not mean anything, but they, meaning the left, think they are weaponized. Right. Well, Absolutely. yeah, they, 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 they don't they don't have as much bite to us anymore because we hear it all the time, just like uh just like many other words it exists now like faggot is changed in con uh, connotation. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean always in the same situation, but but the the idea of what the left thinks it means in in, in the manipulation tactics it, it, that they that they're trying to use is the the real problem here. It's I think. The, it... Oh, sorry. But it, it's like they're just trying to trying to uh, trying to just you know throw out throw out a word to just dismiss you and just sum you up into one thing. And, it's an easy way to try to brush you off to the side. Right, like just saying racist. You're a racist. It's just like no, no. I have a legitimate point about the black community and 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 the you know the problem with raising youth and and they're living in a single family home. You know, you need a more stable home usually leads to a more stable child. You know, that's not racist. That's that's universal. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. What's, what's the next one? Jam. All right. So yeah. uh, you want me to move on to the second point? All right. So. Um, oh, 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 and also, may I just say one thing? Just using yep. words to to attack certain people uh just really funny i kind of compared the word racist now to the word drama in the past week because <laughs> i've been calling people out <laughs> on shit and people just go andy drama 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 using that like a blanket statement to um uh make what i'm saying invalid uh when i'm actually making some great points and these I are all think, just words to make people shut up that's all they are yeah so <laughs> that's don't talk I, about it because i'm uncomfortable that's so all I, those words mean mm -hmm. Can, when you uh, water down when you water down the word sexism and racism, it doesn't mean anything anymore. And when it doesn't mean anything anymore, it takes away from real racism and real sexism that's happening. 
You're right, yeah. Look, the reason they do this shit is basically because when they can't win an argument, they'll use these throw-out terms basically as a, a way to try to make you defend yourself against the accusation and get off track. That's the entire reason they do this tactic. 100 fucking percent, exactly. I was about ready to just say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I move to my second point, I would also say that the argument that the Daily Stormer is ridiculous is not available anymore because the Daily Stormer just made a special piece on me uh, yesterday. And so oh, I don't, really? I will not let people insult the Daily Stormer <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's they, what do they say? very popular hey, what do they say about you what do they say i'm curious they said that essentially i've kicked out uh, the top jewish youtuber <laughs> 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 oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> zionist youtube conspiracy <laughs> they, also, they also said that i've identified that uh kraut was a uh anti-French racist and they added disgusting (laughs) (laughs) I think it was a mimetic and uh, humorous uh, article but I'm not sure I'm not sure I understand the degree of humor at the Daily Stormer yet yeah (laughs) that's jokes dude all right what's the second point what's the second all right the second point that she did she said Africa was not made worse by the uh, emergence of Western civilization and, in particular, white men. I don't see how those two things could be uh, related. Well, uh, do you think that, for example, if, if you were to take a scenario in which uh, in which Western civilization does not emerge, let's say let's say Europe doesn't become Europe uh, between the okay, 15th okay. century I, I and is. today. Um, would you think that Africa would be worse today if we hadn't had the te- technological development we had, or do you think it would be better? Hmm. So, I, so you're saying, wait, wait, if white people brought their technology to Africa, and I think so, uh, so imagine a scenario in which the last 500 years of development in Western civilization and mm-hmm. white civilization wouldn't be as good as it was so imagine a, a scenario in which western civilization would at, wouldn't have become what it was do you think that africa would be worse than it is now or better in other words do you think that the presence of europe as a strength in the world on the oh, planet okay. has ultimately yeah. helped africa to get better even if it didn't get africa at the level of european civilization did we help a little bit i i, I guess i'd say I, i'd say africa would be worse off well, there's yeah, a reason I'd say that so Africa's too. fucked up. There's actually a reason beyond the colonialism that Africa's fucked up. It's because it's not because we went in there. It's actually from what I understand, because when they drew the borders, they basically had it all fucked up where you had two different tribes that hated each other. There were two different types of African yeah. or whatever the fuck. And then they just had so much damn war and end fighting ever since that they just can't get their shit straight. And and now even today, the borders are fuzzy, kind of like based on which warlords were in with which one. And the, yeah, the, but do something with the Can, can, can we really years. talk? We, we've uh, white people have been having wars all fucking years. So no, I'm not saying really that that's one it. of the reasons I think, yeah. I, I guess with, as far as JF's question goes, I don't see how, if we never made those developments, why they couldn't, but nobody's over well, there stopping them. Well, well they're, they're the one, the one uh, I think the most uncomfortable fact uh, that we can look at is every white civilization has evolved uh, with technology and everything in civilization. But most black, or I mean, JF, you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I'm in any of this, haven't developed the way. It's, it's not white civilization. It's yeah. European modern Euro- civilization. I say European, but but like, that's what the race realism is, argument. Not just is. not just European. The Asians, the Asians were doing Asians, a lot of, of course, Asians. too. Yeah, uh, of course. Pre-Islam, Middle East were the inventors of algebra and astronomy. So they were far and ahead. That, that was the that was the biggest cutoff because they had trade with Europe and everything. They had you know, as as things started developing, there was trade between Europe, Asia, and and the Middle East. The cutoff was uh, uh, Africa because of uh, what was it? Desert called the Sub-Saharan Desert. 
it, it's a, a big part to play because you don't you know it's not as easy to get to that area yeah i mean at one point in history the the middle east was the bastion of, of mathematics uh science and medicine you know yeah and, and and now you know with with the with the uh they 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 just kind of stalled and and now it's just religious dogma <laughs> and, and it's hard to say you know what would africa be like today if you didn't have the colonization of the dutch german french and and british um <clears throat> because they they've really stagnated a, as a group and and, and it's and and th those col those people have for the most part left it's just it's just like what johnny fox said you know when they were drawing up their borders of africa like they they would have like a you know a, one tribe uh, part of a certain nation but it, they were like divvied up in between the nation and they were kind of moving people around there was constant warring and, and warlords rising and I, 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 I think I africa's think a rich country arguing, I, I, I think, think people arguing for no, no. africa being better off without uh you know the white man's influence africa, just, well no but the, the question was would, no, would no, africa no. be in a better place if the, if there wasn't this rise of this for them, rise it of probably if, for them it probably would be even without all the investments because their uh, their future would be in their own hands. I, that's Africa is not rich monetarily; they're rich in resources. Yeah, they're rich in resources. They just haven't. Africa is the richest uh, land in the world when it comes to resources, yep. but they're literally walking on gold and starving to death. Yep. So yeah. I guess the answer to JF's question would be. No, uh, the rise of the uh, Western and uh, that kind of culture would not have hurt Africa in the least little bit. Mm -hmm. I agree. In like, fact, in fact, uh, I would say with you know charity and sending over food and all that stuff, uh, a lot of you know the Western civilization has actually helped Africa a lot. In my opinion. I know exactly one hundred percent because it at the very least we taught them how to pull these resources out of the ground. Yeah. And then you give them a little cash and they're like, all right, well, what do you want to do? Uh, it's uh, the I, biggest I, fucking I thing ever. I, a, big, a big problem with this entire planet is we let too many people live. People need to start dying off. I'm all right with <laughs> yeah. the hurdle. We need less Christ. traffic. We need less traffic. I'm yeah, a list accomplished. Traffic. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to quit harping on this question. I'm going to grab a cigarette, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, uh, JF, what do you uh, do? You have any responses to us, and then I'll read some super chats, and then we'll continue. Well, no, I think it's just beautiful to see what we have here. That's a discussion, and that's a discussion. Even if you believe in race realism, I I'm willing to understand that there are other points you could make. You could argue, well, uh, Africa was made worse in some moments. I mean, when uh, European when European countries were invading Africa, we did cause suffering. But then we can have a rational discussion about how much amount of suffering have we brought? How much amount of technologies have we brought? How much amount of things we've produced have been adopted in Africa and have effectively improved life there? Now we're having a reasonable discussion, and that's the beauty of not strawmanning, not attacking, but considering the arguments. And I really love it. But go for your super chats. Yes, yeah, fantastic. And by the way, everyone watching, uh, we've got 3,200 people watching. Hit that like button. If you enjoy uh, these conversations and want to see more, it really supports the channel. And I appreciate all you. Uh, Kenneth G, $10. I grew up in a world where you handle shit with your friends privately. And I get that YouTube is such a mix of business and pleasure and the lines are blurred. Uh, sounds crazy. Honestly, no privacy. Uh, hey, hey, Kenneth, I love you, man. But when people start fucking uh, affecting other people, that's how we got here. Publicly, that's how we got how we got here. Uh, it's not private when it, we're we're talking about money and the lack of freedom of speech when we're talking about freedom of speech. Uh, George Zoro's Zemeka, five bucks. Tonka is being a fucking incivil, uncivilized, ignorant retard, and not being reasonable like the rest of y'all. Tonka's not here to be reasonable. I'll there take the. Go. Oh, there we go. He doesn't give a shit. Not here to be shit. reasonable. George, I love you, but he doesn't give a shit. Have you seen his morning show? By the way, go subscribe to it, Tonka. Uh, Luca Blight, sixty-nine, five dollars. Jeff was also deleting comments on his video on his apology, namely the the one he posted before the apology video. I think he uh, he blocked the comments from his thing. He even mentioned that. I think he. He uh, was deleting comments off the second last video because people commented on that video. But I heard people were doxing him in the comments, and I don't 
I disagree with him doing that. Uh, I do still think, though, he should have put his apology on his main channel. Uh, Renegade Shurkin, $10. Please be careful that this doesn't turn into an um, um, inquisition and people get their points across and not just shouting matches. I think we've accomplished that. That was a super chat mm -hmm. before, so I think we are we are working towards that. Uh, Seamus Carmichael, 100 DKK. Thank you. You don't have to be smart when you're a sexy bitch. Thank you very much. Love you. Patrick Mao, 5 euros. One rage was 19. For example... When I, uh, for example, uh, I, for example, was a piece of shit uh, at 19. And number two, she thought she was part of a community and was excited to contribute what she read. And yeah, and I agree that some people took it out of control and uh, bullied her offline. Uh, Gabriel Monturil, $2. The Apologist Cult versus the Science Schemers. Uh, Nick Cellstorm, $5. Rage did nothing wrong. Black D Dragon, what's up, buddy? Five euros. Andy Faggot confirmed. Uh, Duncan Massive, two bucks. Press one if Kraut owes J uh, Jeff Holiday a blowjob. Mm -hmm. And last one for now Bean with Bacon, two bucks. Repsion's a bitch. Um, I love Repsion. No, no, wait, I'm, wait, real I'm, quick. I'm, Repsion, I'm right now, I'm having a conversation. We had a conversation over here on the side here. Okay. Me and Repsion, we're, we're doing all right now, right? We understand each other. Like, I don't hate Repsion, and he doesn't hate me. Rep no, 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 no. I don't, I don't hate you, Tonka, but like I do you, think... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I know, you don't, I know you don't give a shit about things, but I think that you can come up... Uh, you should be able to communicate better rather than just calling people hoes all the time. Like, I know maybe you're joking. Maybe that's the wrestling side in you. I don't know, but it, it really makes me not interested in to hear what you have to say well then don't retweet me over and over all right well wait, you didn't feel... start off with calling me names I'm not... I, I feel like i have to clarify something real quick the chat i must have misspoken i didn't say islam invented algebra i said pre-islamic middle east greek area was where algebra and astronomy came from all right pre-islamic Oh, Andy, I just wanted to tell you, um, there's a channel called Overly Sarcastic Productions, and they mm -hmm. do, like, these videos about, like, history and Shakespeare and all this other stuff. Yeah. If you watch that, there's, like, a video that's, like, 20 minutes, and they go over the entire history of Africa and why it's screwed up and just all sorts of other shit. All right, I'm, I'm checking it out right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to favorite this. Thanks, bud. Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> You're a faggot failure. Okay. You too, buddy. Did I say, by the way, uh, just live here that uh, that Johnny and I got into a spat back in the day because he was insulting me and someone leaked it and I was pissed off at him. But he's a cool dude and his channel's fucking awesome. Everyone here is fucking awesome. Go subscribe to all the links I have down there. Uh, Johnny, you've been pretty much on the sidelines of the of the community yelling inwards at everyone and everyone's been ignoring you and reing and go going fuck you johnny you piece of shit H how did you feel for the past two years i felt like shit but at the same time it was all made better when takasaw let me make mundane rat matt re earlier oh that was that made me feel hilarious. so good that meant that was my christmas present from tonka getting yeah, Monday yeah, yeah, my, my, my arena is my present to the youtubes my was god that, that was great Andy so got him good shader. with the why did he why did he not unfollow Andy out of all the people that he unfollowed why didn't Monday he Matt block me yet? <laughs> like yeah, that, that 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 whole thing with uh, Monday and Matt and, and Blair White with Johnny was was kind of bullshit. When I when I first saw it, I was like, oh fuck fuck uh, Johnny Fox. And then when I started seeing, it, I was like, ah oh, nah nah fucking. Johnny just said some shit to Blair, and Matt didn't like it, and he was virtue signaling to fucking Blair. And then oh, he he's was... pissed. And and what happened and with that? The... What happened with that? Like like like, what's the context of that story? Like, what was the fight between who? Between you and Blair and Monday. Oh, that was retarded. Basically, Armored Skeptic got pissed off at a tweet I made at 3 o'clock in the damn morning, so he got like up in the air retweeting it, talking about how I hated free speech and it gets open discussion, as he calls it. And then I basically just went on a stream just to shit on him to wait for him to come and chat and re. And instead of him, Blair White showed up, talked shit. I played Dude Looks Like a Lady in front of everybody dedicated <laughs> to Blair. Next thing you know, my fucking notifications blow up for three days about how I'm the biggest piece of shit on earth for doing that. So you were just being a fucking asshole? I was being an asshole, and everybody got <laughs> mad. Yeah. You, you were a bit of an asshole, buddy. I still am an asshole. You are too, boy. I know. Just <laughs> you, buddy. 
I, I want to talk about it. Me I'll versus you. Do Kumite next you time, me versus you. All right, let, let, let's talk about wrestling. <laughs> That's going to be like the most low key Kumite ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, everybody's going to fucking fall asleep. All right. So, All right. What's, 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 yeah, so let's move on. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the, to the next one. Uh, JF, my friend. All right. So and that's the, way, the last um, one. Uh, can I ask how, how long is your video so far? How, how long do you think it'll be about this? Oh my so? god! I mean, <laughs> if you know, my videos can be up to seven point five hours. Single oh videos. my god! <laughs> dude, Jesus. We're talking about every word, every word. It's like the final work. <laughs> you, you, so you like you do like an audio book, pretty much. <laughs> pretty I much. Get, I it's like when I release a video, your week is covered. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Dude. I get seven and a half minutes in, and I just can't. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I haven't even come commenced to edit a video on Rage After Storm right now. I'm researching because because our video was deleted. Our sources are hard to find. But right now, I got to the doctors that are claiming what she claimed in her video. So now I can evaluate the original intellectual argument that she was basing her sentence of. That's why uh, That's why right now I have just one last point, which I've recognized in the video, but I will have more maybe in a future stream. But here's our last point, which I've identified. It is intelligence, or she, I, IQ, as she puts it, is important because it is related to the development, the educational capacities, criminality, and performance in economic societies. Would you agree that intelligence determines part of the positive outcomes in a society? 100% IQ matters. Yeah. 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 This is like, we can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, it's uncomfortable to say to anyone watching who's pissed off, we got 93 dislikes here. Um, <laughs> it's, some things are uncomfortable to say. It's easy to call out, you know, a feminist, you know, low hanging fruit, but then there's some things that are uncomfortable that aren't really low hanging and you got to fucking, you have to fucking, you know, be honest when when we're looking at certain an honest discussion does not mean that you are a fucking racist and yeah. people labeling that is fucking gross losing arguments and trying to ruin people's lives is fucking gross mm -hmm. this shit needs to be called out and if you have a problem with it there's something fucking wrong with you not andy yeah and and look you, you can hate me all you want but i mean that's I have to be fucking completely honest with w what stats I see. You're all fine with stats like black people c cause more crime in America, right? You're fine with that stat when I've said it a million times on my videos. But when we start talking about intelligence or uh, uh, you know averages of of and statistics of certain races, then you're uncomfortable about that. It's easy to just talk about crime and go, but look. But but then there's a, 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 a broader discussion which goes beyond just crime of just intelligence and race. And you know, it, is a, it is uncomfortable, but hey, uh, I'm sorry, Fox, uh, go well, ahead. You know what my problem is with the whole people getting pissed off at race realism? It's the fact that they're talking about averages, not every person. Just because black people might have a certain median IQ over certain other races, that doesn't mean every black person is stupid. Yeah, exactly. Or low IQ. And also, we we could look at uh, at at races in a different thing beyond IQ. Uh, like black people tend to to be stronger, faster, um, have bigger dicks. I mean, Andy, no Andy, no one's Andy, no one's Andy, bitching about black people having study on nigger dicks. <laughs> <laughs> the naked a fucking. <laughs> But, but all, all I'm saying is we're all fine about talking about races being different when you make the joke that black people have bigger dicks. But every other part, no one, no one has. No, it's just that white people aren't allowed to be good at anything. I'm not even fucking white, but this is tired. It's that white people aren't allowed to be good at anything, and it's annoying as shit. Mm -hmm. I make some awesome macaroni salad. <laughs> it's just overrated. Right. Oh, you know what? You know what saying I hate. You've had your turn already. What, what, what is that supposed to mean? What does that mean? Uh, for, oh, so yeah. When white people talk and people say shit like that, you've had your turn already. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. It's like, oh, we, we've just God. only been kicking ass for the past, like, 400 years. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, but no one... I just... 
<coughs> I just got ducks on the chat. Someone says JF's duck is Jean-François Garriepi. He gave my full name. Oh no, you've been ducked. <laughs> Can I ask actually ask you uh, uh, something, and then we'll we'll pop in the super chat for a little bit. But uh, I got a message uh, that you were you were talking with people how you're okay with doxing. JM? Yeah, this is something that uh, that I've not even had the chance to talk to because I, I'm on this show where people are like, oh, so you've discovered that Kraut was doxing. And I'm like, yes. And people forget to ask me, well, are you against doxing? But, uh, didn't, that you particular... use that, but didn't you use that as an argument against Kraut on the live stream? Not so much, actually. What I'm uh, worried about is when people use the information for malicious purposes, because it's important to understand that there are legitimate journalistic purposes why someone would research someone's name. Um, because a journalist may decide, and when I say journalist, of course, I include YouTubers, someone may decide to look for the information, but not publish it for damaging purposes. For example, I may want to know uh, what what is the name of a certain YouTuber so that I can find past public uh, statements that he's done, maybe in another life, maybe as part of a, another company, so that I can look for consistency. That would be fair in my view, as long as you don't reveal the name and the, the, the private information. In the particular crowd case and Jeff Holiday, what I took issue with was that the information that they had gathered on Coach Red Pill and me was being used for threats. So I've received a threat by email by Zeph and uh, CRP, uh, Coach Red Pill, has received two threats, one from Jeff Holiday and one from Crowd and T, clearly indicating, like, we know who you are. And so when it's used for intimidation purpose, that's where I think doxing is wrong. But the information gathering, I'm not... I'm not uh, against it. Well, well, yeah, because I keep hearing this this whole thing about, you know, Coach Red Pill, and that's what everyone's focusing on. And I get that people are using it as journalistic stuff. But however, people have seemed to fucking forget constantly that that wasn't the only docs that was on that server. Um, and also Zeph, uh, now that JF, I have you and Sinatra says in here. Sinatra, you want to tell them what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, I was docs too. The day after my docs was given to me, they started talking about how I was putting my family in danger because of the content I make. Yeah. And this is what I'm against. This is why we did this operation. And uh, Andy, you, you're, you're raising a point that I've heard a lot on the internet. People are asking, Jeff, why are you defending a Coach Red Pill? Jeff, why are you so much focusing on Coach Red Pill? I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm very interested in the Sinatra case. And this, this is the kind of intimidation that I want to stop so that people can feel free to speak freely on the public space. The problem is that I need a case where I have clear evidence. And of course, if Sinatra wants to send them to me, I would be very grateful. But in the case of Coach Red Pill, I have all the evidence. I have the two main players of this whole scandal, Kraut and Jeff Holiday, sending the tweets, sending the threats through main to to their main twitter account and main youtube account so that's why i keep talking about it it's a case where i have seen another intellectual threaten coach red pill for I'll, silencing him and also for for people who are unaware of the situation and i know we're talking about coach red pill a lot but what really opened my eyes, I think it was like a day ago or two days ago, was the information that came out where Coach Red Pill uh, has this you know, shady past, but has posted his name and his address on his Patreon. There are videos of him saying his address and repeating his postal code or zip code, whatever you Americans say. Uh, <laughs> and And he... He uh, has admitted so many things. He's made a movie. He's a published author of two books. Um, he is very, a very, very public figure. And apparently, I got caught a DM that he had actually deleted his address from his Patreon while he was on stream with me, JF, and everyone else that day to pretty much use uh, the being doxxed as a victim status but imagine i had my address on my youtube channel like on a, a description and then while i'm talking about being doxxed i delete it this is why coach red pill has not said a word he 
punched way above his weight class by going after Sargon. Sargon of Akkad, what a terrible idea, Coach Red Pill, with your 14 DSLR camera, super pan, zoom from the ceiling, down to cut, to smash cut of you looking out the window, drinking your mug, and taking a deep exhale to talk about how shitty Sargon was. Andy, are you tired of going after people? No. I love this warpath. I don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't give a, f I don't give a and, fuck. And fuck he's getting me. that catch like I did a couple years ago where you just chase after people and then you can't stop after a while. Yeah, well, you, it, it's like it's just like a fucking uh, like a shark, you know? You just you get a little taste of blood and you just fucking lose your mind and just bite everything. Actually, Tonka can be uh, I, I'm is a witness to this, Tonka. Tonka. Yeah, yeah I'm here. What I was saying about the shark... What happened was it's yeah, like he was I, talking about that earlier. It's like I was a passive shark, right? And I'm swimming. And then I swam into the Kumite <laughs> blood waters. And when I went in, I got the taste of blood and went back into the ocean. And now I'm looking for people to fucking feed on. Not in a bad way. And by the way, Repsion, fucking everyone. Mad respects to Repsion. Have to say it. Uh, obviously, him defending the 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 uh, the Kilroy thing the way he did on Twitter blindly was dumb. But he admitted it. He he said, he, 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 said he reacted emotionally. And I've I hey guys, I'm, I was the one here to apologize to Rage where I reacted emotionally. Not as bad as obviously fucking Kraut and Jeff. But I think this is what we're all fucking uh, we're all learning today. Yeah, it's fucking real, great. Can, can I can I let it be known real quick? I'm I'm not one of these fucking intellectual channels. You, you go go ahead, go over there with that. That's not me. His, I'm not here for that. I'm, AJF, have you ever heard the show before? Uh, which show? Uh, the commit community. Yeah, yeah uh, the no. Kumite. Yeah, uh, 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 <laughs> the Kumite. Kumite. You fucked me up, JF. You fucked me up. Kumite. Jesus. Kumite. <laughs> Yeah, did you, have you ever heard this it? This motherfucker can say it however he wants. I've never, I've never heard oh, it. Oh, dude, it's, if you ever wake up in the morning, yo, jump <laughs> on. This guy just invites okay. people and they have a death battle. It's beautiful. Today was me versus Mundane Matt uh, with Johnny Fox on my side. It was fucking beautiful. Oh, uh, is it like, like you insult each other? Yeah, it's like two people who hate each other. You go in. The Kumite is actually a uh, uh, fucking, you were telling me, a geek blood Gulu. sport. It was like yeah, 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 it's a blood sport from some movie or a novel or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from it's from Jean Claude Van Damme's uh, uh, blood sport. Yeah, yeah. So basically, <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, fucking, it's been interesting. People to go see. in there and handle the business. That's all it is. People go in there and handle the business. It's yeah, a yeah, cathartic. Tonka's, it's, Tonka's thing is all right, but uh, JF, you sound like movie. an intelligent. You you sound like an intelligent dude. Would you like to come on my channel sometime and watch uh, '80s commercials? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone, go 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 movie. watch go watch failure Google things. No, I, I want to get I want to get an answer from him. Do you want to go on Google Maps and and go look at at Las Vegas? Just take a tour of Las Vegas with me. Oh, I'm looking at everything. everything. Someone That's... on the chat says Jeff versus V would be nice in the committee. Yo, dude, yeah. battle I'm... of the accents. Yo, right, I'm how, about, how about this? I'll pull out a card. Hey, hey, Jeff, want to watch a uh, softcore Korean porn on uh, YouTube sometime? Jesus Christ, what? Failure. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, failure. Oh my the God. Kum the Kumite is a very cathartic experience if you've been in it, like if you've actually participated. Yeah. Like it's, it, it, just... it, it gets out a lot of angst and anger. And, and, and then you can, then after you're done yelling at each other, and if there is something to salvage there, you can actually have a, a, a better conversation because you've got People all not the moaning nasty about straw shit. man and ad homs every five seconds, and you just fucking get out what you have to say to some fucking buddy. It's a beautiful thing, I promise. Yeah, yeah, I think I won the heavyweight belt today against Matt. That was so fun. Slow your roll, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one match. Hey, he's quite a heavyweight, I'm just saying. There's a there's a King Carl standing in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch well, out, man. Well, it was interesting because Tree of Logic swung on by because she's been yelling at me at, at DMs saying I was I was lying about rage, which I did misrepresent her. Um, but fucking, she she came on and I talked to her and she goes, "Cool, I'm happy that you're apologizing. Appreciate that." So Tree, if you're watching, because she said the only thing is Andy, you have to do it on your fucking show. 
No more of this fucking on the other people's streams or anything. And I agree with her. And there, in front of 3,000 people, fucking, the fucking, the title of the stream is called Rage Was Right. Come on, hashtag Rage Was Right. Like, like here it is. All right, guys? Um, and uh, she said that Rage possibly might be coming back to YouTube. Rage, if you're watching this, set, f fucking send me an email. Let's do this. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, she said that she was going to hit her up a little bit before you did your stream. So. Yeah, I was actually speaking to a, to a few people um, who, who actually fucking, uh, who actually said that they are, are sending her the stream as well. So she's definitely, definitely fucking uh, doing that. Uh, Schmeckle wants to join? Oh, yeah, he just messaged me. Hey, tell you, send him a link. He sent him a link. Right, no pass. Uh, let me just read some uh, super chats here. Bean with bacon, two bucks. Oh, I read that one. A uh, Brandon Falcon, two bucks. What would Flintstones be called if they was black? <laughs> uh, perfectly faded delusions, five bucks. I said to Jeff that I think he wants to be popular and hang out with the popular kids ra uh, rather than be himself. Jeffrey Dahmer, five dollars. Andy, come to Washington and wrestle Matt. If you win, I will supply you with all the fucking weed you can smoke. Well, get Get that weed ready. Uh, three, 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 love, two dollars. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna announce. Oh, I, wait, did I announce what I would do to be on on Kilroy already? Oh yeah, the what the ball pit, twenty five thousand dollars and some drugs and some drugs and, and maybe a stripper. I don't know. I don't know how Sinead would feel about that. Yeah, <laughs> she should probably catch her balls off. <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, I was the stripper? All right, that's probably fair. Hey, hey, be... Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Sup, Nobody else wants that. Just me. So, Shmeckle, you were saying you have some uh, knowledge on this topic as well? Uh, yeah, I'm actually a little drunk, so I need a reminder of what the topic was. I did certainly have knowledge. I swear to fuck, Shmeckle. <laughs> <Yeah, what? laughs> Jesus Christ, how high are you? It, it's, uh, it's fucking uh, race realism. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about uh, what, what you were speaking about uh, a little bit earlier. Um uh, Around when I showed up uh, in the chat, you were you were talking about something to do with the uh, uh, Zephnor and Kraut situation. Oh yeah, so Sinatra being doxed and Mag Magog was also doxed. And when Magog was doxed, Zeph sent that in, let put put that on forward to me and was like, "What should I do with this?" Just to kind of let me know. Wait, Jeff did that? That's that's uh, what I was talking Zeph. about. Uh, no, Zeph. 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 Oh, Zeph. With, with by, the, by the way, by the way, Magog uh, went on to Kumite the uh, other day to say that Zeph used a clip of him out of context. Where, uh, yeah, it, it, Magog went where, on to uh, yeah, that thing where he keeps trying to say this is where Magog said that he uh, says that I didn't dox him. That's not that's not what happened. That was a month before we knew any fucking thing. Yeah, that, that's a, a different really stream. But yeah, that's, Guys, that's the clip he keeps fucking using. That's bullshit. Hey, hey. But no, with, with the uh, with what I know, uh, extra there, uh, the whole Magog thing. It was on a Kumite. Uh, as far uh, it was just me, Tonka, and uh, Magog, as far as I remember. Uh, and Magog pulled up his art, and of course, uh, down in the corner, like most artists, there's the the fucking signature, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so Zeph ends up pulling up the uh, the details he he could get with that name, uh, but according to a friend of mine, uh, Chambers of my heart, a friend maybe a loose word, but an acquaintance an acquaintance of mine, uh, Zeph actually showed her and Liz how uh, they could track down Magog's details. Yeah, and I assume. Uh, I assume the two of them weren't the only person. Uh, it was like an instructional pretty. class, and in then actually, I mean, speaking about Zeph doing all this stuff, uh, Zeph apologized to JF the other day on my stream. Uh, hey, JF, do you now, after sleeping on it, do you accept J uh, uh, Zeph's apology? Oh no, not at all. Uh, he was clearly <laughs> using just the word apology for anyone who doesn't understand the case. Mm -hmm. He was using the word apology to disguise more attacks against me. And and I, I may be the only one who understood that, but he was slipping other vicious attacks in his sentences. So no, I do not accept that apology at all. He was lying throughout. Yeah. See, I mean, wait, real quick. When sad. JF calls somebody a motherfucking hoe and he don't want to take their fucking apology, everybody loves it. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's damage control of what Zeph's trying to do. Yeah. Because yeah. he you don't you don't try to frame someone as a pedo 
And then just expect it to be okay. Hold on, hold on. Stop for a second. JF, can we get like a sound clip that somebody can use for the fucking the fucking ringtones or some shit of you just saying, fuck these YouTube hoes? Fuck these YouTube hoes? <laughs> No, no, that's fucking gonna be in the kumite for sure. There we go. Yeah, Everyone, yeah, yeah. fucking market. I mean, what? whenever I do a live stream, I literally will read any soundbite that people uh, instruct me to say. So you, you can do it if you have an ID. Same. What, what wait, happened to JF yeah, is exactly what happened to me. He, he did the exact same thing. Zeph is a hoe. Zeph is a hoe because we've been asking like, Zeph right, is a come cunt. on and talk. Wait, well, Zeph well, can't we, even we, be we, a hoe. We, we've been saying, just come on and talk. And all this time, no, nah, I'm not. I'm do, do it on my territory. But then, like, he re retracts that and, and no, yeah, you can't come on. on. Talk well, I mean, now that we're all uh, getting hundreds and we're, this is on yeah. thousands of views and shit, now all of a sudden, Zeph is all about some talk and he's ready to talk. That's, That's true. Yeah, You're right. You're right. He, he, he hasn't, uh, he, he hasn't uh, appeared anywhere else besides like my streams basically and now the kumite finally yeah well no he went to the gun stream he didn't come he didn't come on stream, sorry, on but he's a real life I, cuck. he was on the gun stream and that's he's because he, he thought he had a safe home. space there yeah and by the well, way he, he did have a safe space there he, like you, you guys really let him off the hook i mean let's be honest hey, no, and, let and him off it? the fuck uh, wait 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 uh, you guys you mean, did yeah, you guys let so. you guys the very the, the one that i was invited to are you kidding? I didn't let anybody. Oh no, no, the, the one you were invited to. Yeah, we we let yeah. him off the hook. Yeah, but that was based on the. Uh, was I there for that? Invited yeah. at the time. Yeah, yeah, you. Were there. Okay. I was there when they let him off the hook. That that stream was fucking hilarious. That's gonna obviously end up in Medicare's video. Uh, the con stream that you guys did. By the way, if anyone doesn't know, uh, Schmeckel, I'll put his link after. But uh, Schmeckel, do you want to just let people know what you do? Uh, I run the cunt stream. We, we we go on for probably a lot longer than we should, and we talk bullshit. Yeah, so basically morning it's is... It's the way too goddamn late at night show. So I think <laughs> exactly. I think everyone fucking has their their entire day booked up on live shows. You oh, have your morning yeah. with Kumite, evenings with Warski Live, and 11 o'clock like, onward from, from cunt stream. This is and like I, YouTube I got fucking that radio. Minute. I got that mid afternoon shit on. You you do have mid afternoon. You why won't cog. why won't failure failure, more streams. But oh yeah, I, uh, I I fell asleep and didn't wake up until the kumite was already on. So fuck. you're a fucking bastard. But I need to get an alarm clock. I need to get an alarm clock. I was in Twitter. Clock. Clock. Andy, no, I couldn't have invited you. Yo, Andy. what's up? You have a. A super, a ten dollars super chat. Yeah, but please check that. This is amazing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Amen. Ten dollars. Yeah. Zeph just wants an emotional connection with JF. Can JF, <laughs> can JF make that happen? <laughs> I think it's a good thing. Can JF make that happen? May I, may I ask you, uh, uh, JF, after everything that's happened, because uh, I've talked to these guys on the Kumite already about it, but. What's your um, your thoughts on the whole rage incident now that every that like this stream has happened and everything that you've seen? What's your thoughts on that? On just rage coming back rage to herself. YouTube or yeah? Well, just... I, I would say one thing that wasn't said because we, we've made the case that rage was right in many things that she said and that in fact we would have had an intellectual uh, interest in discussing this four months ago when she stated it instead of bullying her of the internet. I did not bully her off the internet. Said, again. No, not you, not you, certainly not. But uh, there was a a mob phenomenon. It seems that was uh, that led to our bullying of the internet. Think of all the time wasted. That is that she was fucking hot. And yeah. uh, <laughs> think of all the time such wasted. A loss. Yeah, that think of all the bad. time wasted. Yeah, I I think of, not, think of all the, the minutes spent watching Jeff Holiday with a uh, with a shitlord hat instead of watching Rage After Storm tell me anything. How yeah. much is that in terms of loss? She was very attractive. I mean, she is very attractive. Let's be honest. What if she got super fat, though? Ooh, imagine she comes back and we're like, ooh, yeah, so, you know what? Some, Just stay off the It's still internet. better than Jeff. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey so, sometimes fat girls go the extra mile, man. Yeah, yeah. yo. They, 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 they know they have to impress. Because they're sucking your dick like it's the last dick they'll see in a while. So they, yeah, they exactly. better work it hard, you know? 
these are experienced gentlemen in this chat. Not only <laughs> we, we've all been. Not only are we. Gonna hey, be, it's it's been one forty five at a bar, and I've been like, oh fuck, I've bottomed out all night. So, all right, <laughs> it's the fat bitch. It's the fat bitch of Blair White. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's either this fat bitch or me edging my dick all night to fucking weird ass porn on xnxx.com. <laughs> it's just porn you get upset after you come. <laughs> yeah, you just oh, have the, the, the the fuck am I watching? you just you walk yeah. by a mirror and punch it because you just don't want to look at yourself anymore. Yeah, you're like, why did I just watch 30 minutes of Bukaki? Like that's probably why did I watch midget amputees? <laughs> like where? I where? mean, fair enough. How many people you. do you think are sitting around right now? Like, why did I watch Jeff Holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking talk. Why? Why did I watch a mall metal scientist? What is wrong with uh, you? I think there are a lot of reasons to watch Jeff. I think there. are a lot of reasons now to think he's a piece of shit. Uh, I don't think that changes what his content was. By the way, was. that was hypothetical. I never watched Jeff. I'm not I, a I, Jeff. I, I, used to be Look, big uh, I, I don't. I don't think he's a bad guy, but I think we no. all have our flaws, and his are, or you know, he, he just just come clean, just come clean, and talk and say what yeah. you did wrong. Don't don't Hang try on. to dance around things. Uh, that, Cthulhu, that's failure. Saying the nice version of what, what I've been what? saying. Yeah, Geekthulu told me. Uh, we were talking about this privately, and we were talking about what Jeff's, uh, what his apology should have been. And uh, may you tell it people what you told me? Because it was super short. What, oh, what? Just the, it should have been like a five, six minute video just saying, look, you know, all of these things that are coming out, you know, I fucked up. I made a mistake. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let my fans down. I'm sorry I let my friends down. You know, I, and just say, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, make it up to people, and 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 just leave it at that. Do you guys? Then, hey guys, I did this thing wrong. Here's why it was wrong. I'm sorry. All right. Now with this, me. now that I Boy. asked that question, uh, is there a way for redemption now? Well, have you invited Jeff? Have you invited? Well, like, would he come on if you invited him right now to talk? Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go, but I would invite him. Yeah, hundred percent. If you don't tell okay, him, yeah, talk just, him just, you get a thirty percent better chance. But yeah, I will be quiet case, if he shows. All right. Just in case you end up soon, can you promote my uh, failure with money channel because oh, I can't yeah. stream on the other two channels, motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> okay failure with money. So should, should I invite Jeff in here? A yeah, JF, are you I fine with you that should. too? I have no problems. If you do, for real, I will be. I'm not saying a fucking. I'll, well, un unless he's fine. If it will help, I won't say shit. All right. So let me. I haven't talked to him since all this broke down. Cause and while you uh, do that, let me bring a precision. Someone in the chat is confused and say, "I don't refuse. I, I don't accept Jeff's apology." No, no, no. I didn't accept Zeph's apology. Zeph uh, is an asshole. I'm yeah. the one who. Uh, Jeff, Jeff is the fucking boxing alien. Uh, Jeff's uh, the the weird hippie guy. With Jeff's the, the smarmy thing. fucking mall metal fucking hippie, <laughs> trying to tell you he's Bill Nye the science guy. Bill Jeff's Nye. the guy that <laughs> I sometimes get told I look like. And uh, before the haircut, it might have been accurate. After the haircut, he looks like a faggot. Everyone, okay, uh, okay. Let me just read some super chats. I invited him in here, and I just wrote him. Uh, it's your chance to come clean. And I just put the link to the hangout. So just real quick, uh, perfectly faded delusions, five bucks. I said to Jeff that I think he. Will, oh yeah, I read that one. I uh, fucking three 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 love two bucks. Reps and Matt will die on fraud foothill. Plays taps. Uh, Sandra May five dollars. I I work a lot. I love Andy Jeff some black guy, but I've obviously missed a lot. Any recommendations on how I can catch up without? without watching an 18 hour 18 hours worth of live streams watch the series that mr medicare is making right now uh he's, he's releasing one episode per every two days his new episode should be out soon people in the chat were like it's out I, it's, it's out it's not out it's a lie don't um, don't don't watch people's streams go find the evidence and, and find just, the evidence yeah. and, and just and just read it and, and, and it speaks for itself and then yeah, and look at braving ruins fucking uh he's got a thread going it's got Basically everything. Yeah, uh, I can't do my channel. Things, but and we have Cedar Queen. Uh, Cedar Queen, five dollars. Please just say Finn. My cat freaks out when he hears his name come out from my phone. It's worth five bucks. Finn, Finn, uh, Chloe, Finn. two bucks. If you offend me, I'll butt fuck you. I'll butt. 
but fuck your free speech. Uh, Flanders Bowler, five dollars. You guys should all start ironically acting like Sargon is your boss and call him something like Sergeant Sargon just to <laughs> see what people do. That's funny. Uh, Summarize Squirrel, five dollars. Andy, who is a sexier woman? Race realism or rational skepticism? Uh, I'll say, I mean, it's both. Isn't rational skepticism just being skeptical, skeptical about shit? But I can't be skeptical about race realism when I see evidence, right? That's the whole point. Um, uh, const- a constable cranium, $5. Climate, geography, and ecology are potential non-biological factors uh, for Africa not progressing as much as Europe, JF. Please read that new so, super chat. Yeah, yeah reread that again, please. Uh, it says climate, geography, and ecology are potential non-biological factors for, Af- uh, are, are factors for Africa uh, for not prog- progressing as much as Europe. Uh, environmental well, factors, I mean. I would agree that they are factors, but I, I don't agree with the term non-biological because ultimately all these things, they will influence which genes are present in your population because some environments will select some genes while others not. So ultimately, you cannot separate the environment and the genes. So I, I hesitate at calling anything well, non-biological on the whole planet. Some environments will select for certain genes, obviously. The, the ones who get those genes will uh, thrive more than the ones who don't. I think there was a I think there was a an example used by Sam Harris and he said that you can have genes to grow as tall as the Dutch but if you don't have the nutrition for it in your environment you'll never get that height. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, uh JF, how how much of um you know the environment do you think affects um the IQ or the biology of of a certain race? Well, what, I'm, uh, what I've been trying to explain to people for a few years, and I'm glad that I have the chance to do it right now on a very broad interest and uh, high viewership uh, show, it is that the, the environment and the genes are two parts of an equation that you cannot be divided from one another. And Alternative Hypothesis, who is a very good YouTuber, uh, uses a very good analogy, which is if you put a cake in a oven, what is making the cake good? Is it the ingredients or is it the heat of the oven? The answer is both and none of these things on their own would lead to anything. And this is what we need to understand. We need to understand the concept of multiple causes. And in these multiple causes, there is no such thing as one being the cause and the other not being the cause. Everything works together to lead to a human being. And that's how also that's how IQ uh, emerges, and that's how we get to our adult life as intelligent people, both as a result of our DNA creating our brains, and then our brains being influenced in all sorts of ways by the environment. Good. Uh, I like this guy. How about, uh, how about just decided I like this guy? Uh, yeah, no, I love JF. How about culture? Well, mm. I mean, again, culture, culture. People think. People tend to think that it's a separate thing from biology, but who's telling you? Who's telling well, you these things? <laughs> that human oh, beings, well, who culture have is certainly a different thing from biology. No, it is not. Uh, it most certainly is. Uh, there's uh, you're okay. talking nature versus nurture. Uh, obviously, both of them play into things. So tomorrow morning, I to, uh, tomorrow morning I eradicate every single DNA molecule on the planet. What's happening to culture? Well, I think everybody dies, and so does culture. But uh, as far as uh, culture and genetics, like there's a clear, obviously, genetics. Wait, wait, wait. I think he, I think you're talking from about what their beliefs are is, plays though. into your culture, but their the culture is passed way. through. Though, is that what you're talking about, JF? Well, I, I want to, you to let him talk because I didn't uh, understand his point. But uh, yeah. Culture are biological products. The reason I can transfer knowledge from from my brain to the brain of my child is that our brains have evolved and our genes have adapted so that this transfer of information could occur. But that's blatantly not how genes work. You do realize that evolution doesn't work on a we need this so we'll give this basis, right? Uh, Genes work to answer to evolutionary needs genes no, are no, no, that's 
a very simple way of looking at it. Genes work, evolution works in such a way that uh, the ones who get the good genes survive. We don't uh, evolve to adapt to certain things. Well, we do evolve to adapt to certain things. For example, if you were in a situation where, I don't know, the rain tends to kill your offspring, you would evolve some hair, you would evolve some skin that can be no, resistant that's to That's not rain. the way it works. The ones that right. did evolve the proper uh, yeah, I'm not saying you, you as an individual would evolve. I'm saying your species or your, your population will tend toward having genes that will allow survival in such environments. Yeah, the same but way not because in of an society. idea of we need to survive, so it's going to happen. The ones that did survive were going to be the ones that did uh, inherit those genes. Yeah, this but we do not just, evolve on, just, a, uh, on a need-based uh, uh, system. Well, we evolve do. randomly, and the ones who get the things they need survive. At this point, this is semantics. Uh, if you want to call it a need, okay. Normally, I speak in, in general terms, and I use evolutionary needs. Okay, let's remove the word need. In any case, the genes that have created your brain that allow you to transmit culture, they have evolved as an alternative to other genes that have not survived. And the reason we have people today being able to transmit mathematics, language, and all sorts of cultural memes is because those who could not transfer those memes have died. Certainly. Uh, I'm not saying that evolution is not important to survival, but we don't evolve to survive. Rather, the people that did get the... Uh the traits that allow survival are the ones that make it. Well, how do you think those traits That's, are passed? Uh, they're traced through, it's, uh, it's they're passed through, uh, again, random evolution. The problem is, that's all beautiful, but you. this is totally irrelevant to the question of whether culture is biological. We started on this point with, is culture biological? Yes, culture is a product of living beings, just like milk, just like cream, just like butter, just like computers, just like your feet, just like cells, just like hearts, just like lungs. Culture is a product of human beings, of living beings. It's another piece of the person. But, it's but, another piece of the person, certainly, but it comes, but you it's don't, not you don't just think, a may I, genetic based but, thing, it's nature say, plus nerd. May I, may I just uh, also say, you did say that it, there's random evolution. I don't think there's random evolution at all. It's, it's, you know, generations that keep, you know, being born and born. And no, the, changing. Not I, I, random think, I think the best way, that, I think. I think the best way to layman's term, I think what JF's saying, I may be wrong, but we're just a container for the culture. We carry the culture with us, is in, 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 and I, I, it's not like something that's hardwired in our biology. If, yeah, if the idea is that it, it's the person, they don't pass it, then that's the end. Right, right. That's what he's saying, from what I understand. Is that is that correct? Well. No, I mean, there, there's all sorts of challenge that I need to give to what I've heard here. First, uh, Andy says there is, no, there is no such thing as random evolution. Uh, of course, you're, fra you're phrasing it in a layman's way, but I would say, no, there is. There is okay. a part of uh, evolutionary changes that we call drift, which pr pretty much looks like the, what you present, which is a form of randomness. Uh, not being selected, so it does. It's not that these gene changes make people better to survive or to reproduce, but somehow through randomness, some population will end up with certain features oh. that are not being selected for. Now, in my view, it's a very small aspect of evolution, but people differ on how much they attribute importance to that phenomenon in terms of evolution. <laughs> but it's certainly theoretically possible. Hey, uh, uh, now, uh -huh. what was? Oh, sorry, I just want to say to Sophie Peterson because Andy, you don't know fuck about bi biology. I I'm not claiming I do. I'm asking questions. That's why I have a biologist on the show. You fucking dumb cunt. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb fucking well, retards. The, what did the, I say the, about the, biology? You try to learn and retar retarded fuck. Yeah, Andy, you're not a mathematician. No shit. That's why I'm talking to a fucking. Jesus, shut your fucking mouth. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> now, the second point that came up was we are mere containers for culture. Culture passes through us. That is absolutely false, and I recommend to anyone to read Steven Pinker's The Blank Slate. 
we are creatures that select culture in the same way we select cows for the way they produce milk, the way we select pigs so that they give us good meat. We select our memes. We, we make some memes taboo. We make some memes the way we want. We lie about some memes. In other words, culture, we model it. We sculpt it the way we like because our DNA has evolved precisely for that, to use the information that was present in our society to the best of uh, the possibilities that allows it to reproduce. Our this culture changes we sculpt a lot it because of things involving what we have noticed during the time we've been living. It's not entirely nature. It's nature and nurture. Well, well saying I, it's distinctively one thing or the other would just be a silly thing to do. As far as evolutionary, but when it comes to exactly what I've been trying to make as a case for the last 30 minutes is that the division between nature and nurture is in your head and you would be better off abandoning it. Yeah, but that's ridiculous. There's clearly a uh, an important role played by the the whole nurture part. But but, but but there also is the nature part is what the the nature part is definitely important, but you can't write off the nurture part. Well, let's take, but we weren't talking about that at all. Let, let's yeah. take the example of a bird, okay? So a bird is, uh, a baby bird is growing from, it gets out of the egg, and then its parent brings some worm to feed the bird. Is that nurture or is that nature, knowing that the parent has evolved and it has genes that order it to bring the worms to his babies? Is that nurture or is that nature? Also, um, <clears throat> the force the the for uh, whenever uh, uh um a uh, baby animal dies it, it, it can force other uh, other uh, other animals to force themselves into a heat cycle you know it, it, like think some some things are kind of just tied into each other that seem like something that that's more of like an emotional connection that we have or or some sort <laughs> of societal connection but it's actually just a hardwired uh, thing to go. Oh, this baby's cute. You know, an emotion. Uh, I, th- I think what I'm. Uh, I think I'm starting to get it here. Uh, you're saying that nurture is caused by the nature of uh, the parents, right? Certainly. Yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting. I never really thought of it like that. That's actually. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I could that's buy. That's actually really good. Yeah. No. No. Like I never really thought of it like that. And that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That that I could des- definitely actually- grasp. The, the nurture of the of the child comes from the nature of the of the parent. That is fucking awesome. Let's read some super chats here. Uh, Gabriel Lopez has a really good point. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Gabriel Lopez, what's up? He's part of the BDC, the Big Dick Club, the people <laughs> who donate the most. Uh, what is it? He says, uh, twenty bucks. Thank, but. Uh, Thanks, buddy. And I'm going to read super chats of everyone else in order. So what about mass immigration? A group of people move into a totally new culture and they hardly change their culture for a few generations. What do you think about that, JF? Um, our biologist is gone. JF! Oh, no, I'm back, I'm back. I'm oh. back. So is <laughs> it the Adam Blit uh, super chat? No, Gabriel Lopez, the orange one. Okay, Uh, Gabriel Lopez. So what about at mass immigration? A group of people move into a totally new, different culture, and they hardly change their culture for a few generations. They segregate. Well, to, to, to me, that's just a trace that's left by the past evolution of people. People have evolved to carry memes essentially to carry information cultural information there is no reason why they would suddenly in a new environment care only about the new environment the genes are already telling the brain to ev- to to develop in such a way that it will pass on some of the knowledge why do we pass on the knowledge simply because that knowledge is better than nothing so the reason we we evolve to copy our parents in some way or in, in relatively copy what our parents do is that our parents have demonstrated that they had a better chance to survive than a random human hey, because hey, they're alive wait, isn't it also a really primitive survival skill to to kind of recognize that which is kind of like you and immediately be you know questionable of that which isn't immediately like you like that was how oh, you yeah. stayed alive back in the day with with uh, tribes around and stuff. 
an evolution on any uh, an, any animal is essentially pulling toward two directions. And, and I like to think in, in terms of human societies, I like to think of this as the equilibrium between conservatism and liberalism. Mm -hmm. So on the one hand, follow the tradition that your parents were following because they survived and they had babies. So that's the right strategy to do, right? Mm -hmm. On the other hand, liberalism, which is get get yourself open to new things because these new opportunities might make your life better than your parents' lives. And so evolution pushes in the two directions at the same time. And the number of, of situations that, that people are confronted to as the millions of years develop into a, a J just apply to a species will make brains evolve in different directions and so, so some animals will be will have exactly the same behavior at exactly the same time in their life other animals will have evolved to adapt and you adapt because you your ancestors have faced an environments that required such adaptations fucking, and by the way everyone go subscribe to fucking jf right now <laughs> Seriously, this guy has been coming on the show almost every fucking time. <coughs> He's just dropping knowledge, and uh, that's yeah. that's fucking interesting shit. Like, dude, that's you're killing it, man. That's fucking. I'm just awesome. sitting here intently listening to what he's yeah, saying. This is like, if, if, if JF was my teacher, I would probably not have dropped out of college. Like, seriously, uh, let's read some fucking uh, goddamn because he let, he lets me say cunt. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna just read a couple of. Uh, super chats here because there's some questions. Um, white slave, five dollars. Daddy Jim and I are going to pause some neg holes in Africa. Who's who's coming? Don't worry, guys and girls. We can rape some babies to cure ourselves later. Uh, old old war old world media, two dollars. Dave Dave Collin is still on Gab. Oh, cool. Uh, Patrick Mao, two bucks. JF race since 200 2000 BC in real time stream like he, he quoted that uh morgan micker robber two bucks thanks for being real andy i love from nova scotia thank you a crazy akin two bucks iq iq matters check your smart privilege just kidding uh samantha hyde ten dollars hope rage speaks on what led her uh to to a guest quit YouTube because she fucked up that a little bit. She she couldn't leave her home without being harassed by third world immigrants trying to figure out what was happening in her world and she was labeled a Nazi bitch for that. I want to talk to her about that. Did she get like that fucking deep into it? If anyone knows, DM me. Um, you know who you are, who's watching. DM me what you know because I know you're still talking to her. That's fucked up. If what we that stream caused her to not be able to leave her fucking house. That's fucking disgusting. And I'm way more like, like I can't explain how sorry I am for, for what happened there. Uh, fuck quad $5. Andy Worski's half black, the bottom half. Thank you. Summy Flynn, five bucks. Been quite some time since I've watched the live chat. Hope you're doing well, Andy. Much love from Ireland. Thank you very much. Cam the man, $5. How much of the race realism opposition is caused by people who don't understand the difference between intelligence or other mental abilities? Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of what happened on that previous stream was a lot of lack of knowledge and a lot of uh, you know, people just guessing what they think. A lot of emotions were flying out. Uh, JF, did you watch that stream perchance? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've been watching it, but not fully. But I'm currently doing the research because I'm doing this whole Rage After Storm review. Was Rage After Storm right in the end? And I'm finding that at least she, her, her video was certainly not totally beside the track. But the point that was brought on the the super chat that you read is, is a very important one. Uh, is IQ everything in terms of measuring cognitive uh, abilities? And personally, I'm a big fan of uh, reminding people that IQ is a measure, but that the complexity of a human being is not captured by IQ. And that uh, we, 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 we shouldn't make societies that are looking at improving IQ. IQ is not a moral good in and of itself. We should enjoy the cognitive diversity that is offered by people with all sorts of personalities, including mental, what we call psychiatric disorders, which, which I, I find we are too, too quick 
to de define as psychiatric disorders. I believe there's all sorts of people who have brains that are different and that should be respected and that calling them psychiatrically ill is not always this, the best solution for, even for them. Uh, and in particular, low IQ people have uh, contributions that they can make to society. Yeah, man, that's what like I, I kind of, uh, why the race realism topic is pretty hard sometimes to talk about because people think when we say these things that we're going and therefore white people or Asians should be the only one in our call. I don't think anyone is going to that extent. I'm sure some people are like white nationalist stuff, but it's just being honest about the race issue about science and all that stuff. Yeah, you got to be honest about the statistics and the trends and shit. Because yeah, it's like, I hear these stats and it's not like I'm going to meet a black dude and go, well, those stats, therefore I'm going to, I'm going to judge them by the character and how they act to me. And yeah, I, I like that a lot. By the way, uh, Riffwood, $10. Why is Fox die? That drama stirring pussy bitch faggot there. Fox die. You still here? Yeah, oh shit, sure. Johnny yeah. Fox is here. Uh, oh, so. I didn't even notice Johnny was here. It's the wise yeah. drama stirring pussy bitch faggot ass here. Why Tell you? him to blow me. Okay, yo, like blow him. Hey, hey, Riff would blow him. <laughs> Still didn't answer it though. You dodged him. No, oh, I. Uh, my answer is I like Johnny. He's cool. He's nice. Everyone goes. Yeah, Johnny him. seems to be a good guy. Yes, yes. Hey, he's Andy, I actually had a really good idea since Matt likes to bring up a lot of bullshit. Like he's still bitching on Twitter, right? So I said, you know what? I remember that video where he defended a pedophile to the point where it was just really, really ridiculous. So I'm going to fucking do that later on. Oh, man. I'm going to fucking stream that shit and respond to it like I did some black guy and just blow him the fuck out again. Yo, fuck Just because it. it'll be funny. Your Monday Matt. Is Monday Matt watching this shit? Dude. He needs to stop while he's uh, ahead. I'm just saying. Dude, stop I'm shooting watching. fire. Like, honestly. Just stop. He shoots a firecracker. I shoot a nuke. That's just how it works over yeah, here. Yeah, man. Matt. See, Tonka made the, the very big mistake of saying, if Matt comes on, I, I won't say a fucking thing. And then I watch Tonka sit there, and he has to have bitten a fucking hole through his fucking lip during that time. Here's <laughs> uh, a worn man. Two bucks. What's JF's cat's name? JF? I have two cats. Their name is, they are brother and sisters, and they are TB and GB in honor of the gigabyte and the terabyte, which were the hard drive sizes that I've known through my life. Oh, nerd. <laughs> that is, that is, that's <laughs> fucking nerd. That's nerd. God damn it. Look, Look at who's calling me a nerd. A bunch of people on a stream. A oh, bunch hey, of people on the You're here, here too. You're here too. Uh, no, for it takes you're all time. You're uh, a fucking biologist in your You know what? You, you're, you're uninvited. You, you can't watch 80s commercials with me. <laughs> <laughs> AF has a fucking PhD. Hey. Obviously, he's a fucking nerd. Hey, 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 hey don't pull fucking uh, a based mom on JF, fucking failure. What are you doing? You can't disinvite him now. You can't disinvite him after you've invited him. You're going to deplatform JF on the yeah, fucking commercial okay. stream. Everyone no, hashtag. Man calls us a fucking nerd, and, and he, he learns the law enough to successfully defend himself in court instead of hiring a fucking lawyer like a normal <laughs> person. <laughs> that, that's the call us a nerd. <laughs> oh, JF, you're fucking. Okay, uh, I'll read more Super Chats after. I, I think we'll wrap it up soon times, but do we have any, uh, any final thoughts on this? Because... Uh, I'm I'm very excited to 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 listen to uh, Jeff uh, uh, JF's video tomorrow. You said seven and a half hours. Oh no no no! It's not tomorrow. It's gonna take a week or two at least. Oh shit! Yeah yeah. All My right. videos take a long time to prepare. Oh, oh actually, because I've talked about this with Tonka, uh, I've talked about it with Failure and Sinatra. I think me and you talked about it too. But what's your thoughts, JF, on Medicare's video so far? Oh my god, I love it. At the beginning, I, I listened to the beginning <laughs> Adam more Marsky. than 20 times and I keep <laughs> laughing at it. It's like, uh, what, what is it that he says? He says, uh, war and the consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. This is, not, this is not normal war anymore. It's a, it's a proxy war between races led by mercenaries and machines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the Metal Gear Solid quote. It was the, and then he actually thrown that, that other Metal Gear Solid fucking little, uh, li a little joke where the codec 
like the beeping sound goes off and he's like, oh, hey, what's that crowd? What's that sauerkraut? <laughs> but, and yeah, I appreciate that you bring the people together. Like you got white trash like uh, Johnny Fox or there are nerds like JF. Motherfucker, what? Nice see. Yeah, he, he's not wrong about that, Fox. I, like, I love you, man. And everyone should subscribe to you, but. You're yes. a good guy, but you're clearly called... white trash. You definitely look like you enjoy monster trucks a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disagree. <laughs> yo, at least oh, great digger, man. Get her done. Yo, th yo, this is the fucking like the honest stream now. This is like you, know, you have some shit to talk about. Just come on here. Monday. The red elephant super chatted something pretty interesting. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. What did he say? Do you want to read that? Race out? realism in a nutshell. How's the space program doing in Somalia? <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wrote that? Red Elephant. Oh, okay, Red Elephant. Thank you for donating, bud. Uh, that's fucking funny. I don't know. And okay, yeah, like everyone, uh, I'm thinking within 25 minutes, Medicare's video is is gonna be up. Now, can we all just do some predictions? Because we had part one for anyone who missed it. Like, why aren't, haven't you watched it yet? <coughs> I'm sure, you all you've all watched it. But it was basically on the Rage Storm. Uh, a Rage After Storm stream on my channel that led into Kraut, you know, telling the employer, her being fired, her being really run off the internet. What do we predict episode two will look like? Uh, Luke Skywalker will die in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're going to be looking at a lot of YouTube scientists. No, uh, part I mean, two, I think it's, it's going to be, be Jeff on the day. Uh, isn't Jeff a if YouTube we believe his early release, it's going to be about Jeff Faraday. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was the... Oh, oh uh, fucking Schmeichel, did you meet, uh, miss the, the Medicare trailer y yesterday? No, no, I saw the first video. I haven't seen uh, anything after that. Oh, he released a little trailer just... I'm going uh, to watch this right now. Yeah, it's fucking good, man. It's fucking good. Uh, it's 16 seconds, and everyone's just going... Ah, oh, Jeff. Jeff, what are you? He just seems you... so proud in that trailer. He just seems so proud of him just saying, we bullied her off the internet. And I'm just I'm like, like oh, I'm watching it now. And I'm just like, well, if you if you open up that tweet and scroll down to the person who print screened it as like a story with, with text, you just see me go, I didn't bully her and I have my hand up. I didn't bully her. And he, he goes, oh, yes, we did, Andy. You know we did. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't fucking... I didn't <laughs> Be one of us. Fucking Jeff Hawley just, just <laughs> dragged me. I'm like, Jeff, stop it. Stop it. Jeffy, you hear me? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry. I know this is your stream, Andy. Can I say something very, very rude? Of course. Jeff Holiday, you're a piece of shit. That's been proven over the past fucking week. I... A lot of us fucking liked you. We enjoyed you. A lot of us maybe a little bit looked up to you. But you're a piece of fucking shit, Jeff Holiday. Oh, cool. That only took you a fucking week. <laughs> hey, Jeff, remember that tweet when you were like, basically like, do you know who I am? Uh, guess I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> he like said, he like said a tweet. Bro, because me, and him, me and him were going at it and he was like, do you, do you even know who I am? And I was just like, yeah, oh, I do. He pulled the, do you know who what I am? What a fucking hoe. <laughs> yeah. I think I pulled that on, on crazy hair, but I was really mad, and I was I was pretty drunk <laughs> on that stream, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Do you know who you're talking to? Yeah, and then <laughs> the meme was born, Andy Kasparian. <laughs> <laughs> I have one big question that's left for the Metacur video, which is, when do I show up in this, these videos? Oh, when I yo. show up tonight, will there be some intro music? I would like, I would like him to introduce me with some music you that you would to. see like in a Jean Claude Van Damme movie. Yeah, like, he's, he's in the rise. server tonight. Tonight's yeah. the server, so you've got to be all up in it. You've well, got to be in. Yeah, because he 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 watched. He was watching Tonka Saw's show this morning. Again, go subscribe to Tonka Saw's morning stream. The morning Kumite, it's probably the best you morning show. Bastard. It's the best morning show. He he did he didn't want it to blow up. He's like, I, I don't want the numbers. I don't want the numbers from fifty viewers to what a thousand today almost. <laughs> Something like that. Like, I can like no longer converse like, with the chat. It's yeah, awesome. like a, a regular of like four hundred now, dude. Because you're just you speak the fucking truth and people like it, and you don't care if people hate you, which is great. Uh, yeah. So that so I'm thinking JF. Yeah, you're tonight, man. You're tonight, hundred percent. 
Cause. I don't know. Metacare is a chaotic and uh, surprising individual. I wouldn't put it above him to just keep it for the next one. But yeah, for, for episode three, he must be because it seems uh, that the team from from what he quoted from Jeff Hardy, it seems that he's gonna remain on the ridge after Storm Thing, which I've not intervened in. So he's got to at least be that we have an episode without me tonight. He has to at least tease your booty. Yeah, he's got the people are there for JF. He he got to tease the booty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking JF, you were fucking a main a main player in this whole situation. It was fucking fantastic. Uh, Malcolm yeah. from the North just threw five bucks. What's up, Malcolm? I love this guy. And he just says, nigga, do you ever sleep? And he is hashtag stream god these days. Also, sick new logo, go Tonka. Merry Festivus, people. Um, let me just, yeah, I'll pound through a couple more super chats. We'll do, do some final words. And then we'll wrap up, and then I'll read the rest of the Super Chats, and then uh, we'll all be fucking sitting impatiently uh, for the release of Mr. Medicare, a.k.a. Jim, or Billy, the anti-bullies, <laughs> new fucking video. Oh, boy. Mm. I can't wait for that. I, I can't wait to see his take on, on like, my, my uh, what I did. Because Medicare, man, he's got some... He actually fucking, uh, he would say, oh, I clipped that. Oh, I, I'm taking that for sure on some of the most horrible jokes I've said. So <laughs> I wonder what context he'll put that in. I'm sure he'll be fine, though. Uh, we'll do Adam Blith, $10. JF had me until you said culture is biological. Simple point proves this. If you wiped out all cultures right now, new cultures would appear that would be different to what exists now. And yeah, just like what, new what, life forms, they are missing yeah. the point on purpose. That's irritating as shit. The only the only way that culture could kind of survive would be due to like if it's written or or, or stored somewhere. But that's kind of like what we are. We store it. Yeah. Yeah. The the thing that he stated, you can state the thing the same thing about any piece of the phenotype. You could say I'm gonna e eradicate everything that has a lung or everything that has a heart on the earth. Well, you're gonna have life forms that will evolve to uh, to function without hearts and without lungs. The bacteria will survive. The plants will survive, etc. Same thing with culture. If you eradicate culture, uh, humans, some of them might survive. Some of them might not because without culture, let's be honest, most of us probably are not ready to survive in the wood without any form of social interactions. And so we probably, most of us would die, but some of us might survive and it would just be those who have the genes that allow survival in a culture-less environment. And eventually, yes, they could re-evolve culture if they needed to. Mm -hmm. Interesting shit. All right, uh, Sunbirth13, $10. Andy, I hope you take notice of the identity politics and stream collectivism of, from your audience, some are wanting Schmeckle dead and calling you a kraut cuck for disagreeing with JF. When did I disagree with JF? Oh, Schmeckle. Um, yes, well, yes, yes. Oh, in I, the I, end, I first of all, yeah. people were saying that he should be dead. I know you guys are overreacting and crazy. questioning is not disagreeing. He's questioning. Yeah. Uh, well, let's be fair. We all wish happened. wish Schmeckle was dead. Yeah, but point. that's but but I, the point, I'm though. sure. Most People here wish I was dead. I've got no issue with that. Yo, I'm the host uh, of the show like and say, I wish you were dead. Well, I am no fucking cuck. If he's like, yeah, like we all knew. Thanks for, for that. But yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Uh, but JF ended up explaining it very well to him. And he got what JF was saying. Uh, Mr. Th Thunder Row, what's up, buddy? $5. Race is real, but you cannot violate the principle of the presumption of innocence. You have to treat everyone equally or abandon that principle. 100% agree with that, man. Uh, what jabbers, five bucks. Since JF is going to break down the science, when do we open a Discord and start doxing people? J J J <laughs> JF. <laughs> Yo, That's exactly what happened for the last month. I owned people on the scientific argument, and these people got so pissed that they actually tried to dox me and threaten me. This is literally <laughs> what happened. <laughs> internet arguments end this way now. <laughs> now the, this is the way the internet Kumite. argument ended at the start of the internet. <laughs> internet. This is the way internet arguments are going to end at the end of the internet. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm just going to send you pictures of big black dicks if we just disagree and it doesn't work out. That's, that's <laughs> I haven't disagreed on anything recently, but if you want to send big black dicks, uh, go ahead. Uh, wait, wait. What we was Medicare was... Oh, someone said, if is Mr. Medicare's uh, Twitter is down, if you want to search it, it's we was W-U-Z Medicare, all one word. We um, all knew that. Yeah, uh, someone, that always... someone uh, messaged me. So, uh, someone messaged me. Um, Get with the clums, time, someone. <laughs> all clums router, $10. JF delivers the goods like a velvet warhead. He made me ovulate, and I don't even have the equipment to do that. <laughs> velvet uh, warhead. That, that's really nice. Yeah, people, I really like uh, it. I love it. To biology. By the way, I saw uh, TJ Kirk tweeted you out and said, uh, I'm very happy JF is getting the recognition he deserves. I don't know if you saw that, JF. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Well, TJ Kirk uh, trusted me when I was no one. And he was very serious. I really liked my interaction with him because he, this is a guy who truly cares about the quality of shows. And on YouTube, you have so many people running random streams that don't understand what makes a good show. And TJ hey, is, man, JF, you TJ ripped is a true email. artist. <laughs> I was not talking just about you, Schmeckel. I was thinking about many other people too. Me. No, you best show on the fucking 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 internet. What are you talking about? Kumite is the best, dude. Uh, <laughs> William Harris, 50 uh, Knock. Uh, humans are just apes, breathing machines for our dicks. <laughs> the red elephants. Um, Five dollars. Race realism in a nutshell. How the? Oh yeah, you really read that. How is the space uh, program doing in Somalia? CDR Rockwell's ghost. Ten dollars. People are afraid of race realism and its implications because it can lead to conversations slash policies involving eugenics. Um, as, yeah, it's a slippery uh, slope. I can. Get yeah, that. yeah. Like, but we I, like. I just want to be, be respectful to people. That's pretty much. Uh, we're almost done here, actually. Uh, Isaiah, five dollars. Medicare's video will be the reckoning. Um, Jeff Smith, ten dollars. What's the status between you and Joy Sparkles? BS, Andy. I love your shows and streams. Just asking because I heard you all had a recent showdown. We did, and we we, we became friendly at the end because again, if me and you hate each other, no matter what you've done, I'll sit down and talk, and I'll be civil. Not saying I'm BFFs, but we are, are at least being civil with each other. And I have a stream coming up with her probably soon, so that'd be interesting. Uh, almost done. Midrin Emery's five dollars. Tonka, the orange boxes will forgive you. Kumite ain't love, but Kumite is light is life. Uh, <laughs> Glorious. Uh, Jeff Smith, ten dollars. Forgot Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you so much, Jeff. I really appreciate it, bud. And everyone donating. You're all fucking ama amazing. Brad Hargis, five bucks. Andy, show me the doll where Jank Uger touched you. <laughs> uh, Adam Blith, twenty bucks. Oh wow, thanks, bud. JF, my my phrasing on culture sucked. I meant specific culture like if you erased it from everyone's memory you'd get new culture springing up that would be entirely different yep thanks to your culture uh, ready brains which have evolved for this thanks to changes that have occurred in dna you got it Yep, and my, uh, Mr. Thundero, last super chat, and we'll wrap it up here. Two bucks. Wrench me, bro. You have been wrenched because you've been on every stream, and you seem pretty trustworthy, so thank you very much. Everyone, thank you for fucking donating. You're keeping the show running. These have been incredible conversations. Personally, way better than the regular videos I've been making. I uh, got super bored of that. People saw it, and I'll make a video every now oh, oh once in a while and also just so you all know what I'll be doing with this channel is I'm gonna take the best of moments from all the streams we have and I'm gonna be uh, clipping them into videos so for example you just got two big super chats yeah I yeah. know that right now but but I'm oh, gonna clip well, well. I'm making the best of Medicare on Worski live uh, uh, thing I'm doing the best of JF I'm gonna do the best of insults uh, and best of screaming matches are the first 
are the four next videos and I'll be doing some hindsight commentary on them as well and that'll be because for people who can't show up for a five hour stream or like I'll, I'll call this more of like a radio show now I know it's hard to hear it all so I'll be clipping the most interesting moments into fucking uh, a, a, a separate videos so JF for example had a lot of highlights throughout the week and I'm gonna make a video for him and, and Medicare was of course fucking highlight I'm sure for absolutely everyone and I'll just read these real quick Theodore McCarthy 50 bucks Jesus Christ thank you if all culture was wiped out it would be swiftly replaced with new cultures which are only superficially different from the old ones cultures on opposite sides of the planet, all developed language, clothing, and marriage independently. Amen. Amen. Katera Hergen. And Kapistan. And I love uh, uh, Katera, $35. Merry Christmas, you dirty cunt. You as well. Theodore, thanks for the massive uh, donation. All you, uh, Katera, and fucking Adam. All you guys, fucking amazing. Let's go with uh, some. Everyone, by the way, who's watching now, before you leave, go subscribe to everyone, and we'll do some final words. I have other links down there, except for Schmeckle. So search the cunt stream. He has... Uh, hilarious fucking shit show that happens at 11 o'clock. Is it 11 o'clock at night? Uh, 11 our time, yeah, EST. EST, so 11 Eastern. He does that, what, every, uh, like, three times a week or something? Uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. In the new year, we, we might have some uh, some new ones coming. Eventually, we're going to be seven days a week. And it's been some a lot of highlights there from everything that's been happening. So go subscribe to everyone down there. Uh, let's do some final words and uh a geek maybe we start with you oh yeah because i gotta actually get going here because girlfriend's staring staring at me nah, tell um, her to go, fuck girlfriend it. we all believe that go ahead she's real god damn it <laughs> um uh the, the, no it's it's great to see everybody get together and actually talk and it was cool to actually hear jf uh, blow my mind and uh and thank you andy for bringing me on and i love you all and and go subscribe oh to see YouTube. she's telling me I've been I've been his friend for a long time now. We talk a lot, so he's a real good buddy of mine. That I I give I ask for advice for a lot of things from. So geek, thank you very much, buddy. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a good night. No problem. May we uh, we have next here uh, Tonka. <coughs> well, I don't know. Donka, uh, promote uh, your yeah. show. Just promote your show and say how amazing it is. Uh, it's, yeah, I don't know. Say the word channel. Kumite. Yeah, Kumite in the morning. He, he's mad that I'm promoting him and his show's blowing up. <laughs> he's mad that I'm promoting him every day. Uh, I've heard him on the fucking show. No, we we got 400 fucking viewers. That's too many. That's too many. <laughs> No, but seriously, dude, I love your fucking how intense you get and how outraged you are. It's fucking amazing, dude. You piss people off. Yeah, apparently. It's, it's fun great. time, though. It's great, fun though. Time. All right. And Sinatra, bud. Uh, By the way, I love Sinatra says. Go subscribe to his channel, too. Yeah, what he said. And the Kumite. Get, get him up to 1,000 viewers a day so he wants to die. Yeah. You're the worst. Yeah, I, I, I'd really like to see Tonka cry because people are watching this shit. I want to see him break down. Just, this is too much for me. I was a dumb guy. And, and if you're in the Kumite <laughs> chat, make sure you do at Tonka sauce. So it really, it helps him understand things a lot better. So it's all orange <laughs> and it annoys the fuck out of him. Schmackle, how about you, bud? How about you? Uh, I, I got my own channel. It's fucking schmackle. You can look it up. You won't be able to figure out how to spell it. But I also got the cunt stream. That's a real also, fucking easy thing to spell. <laughs> also, dude, how, how is the battle versus Jeff? Uh, sorry, JF, JF. JF, uh, I've got to say, he ended up convincing me in that. Um, I misunderstood what he was saying at the start. The thing he was actually saying, I uh, I agree with. It's hard to fuck with a biologist, man. Um, uh, that too. I mean, he's a PhD. I'm, uh, I'm a drunk. <laughs> um, there's a very clear distinction between those two things. And, <laughs> and, and, and Johnny Fox? <laughs> Come watch me completely destroy Mundane Matt live tonight in about, <laughs> in about 15 minutes because he's pissed me off and I want to actually fuck him up real good this time. And your channel is sure. Fox Die. Yes. It's Fox Die. It's a funny channel. Wait, wait one, one, one second. The Thor Grax in the chat says the gorilla is now a white nationalist. No, I'm not that. He did, he did not convinced me that far. <laughs> Failure? 
Yeah, go subscribe to the Failure with Money because uh, YouTube hates me and won't let me stream on my other two channels, Failure Accomplished and Failure Terminated. And you do some fantastic streams. You were actually one of my good buddies uh, before oh, anything uh, happened here. And lastly, the fucking man of the hour who fucking, fucking gave us all our science and all our knowledge, JF. Any final words on everything that's happened? Well, I recommend don't don't uh, subscribe to my channel. You're probably not artistic enough to to follow a 7.5 hour stream. <laughs> J just hang out on Twitter, listen to Andy Warski, TJ Kirk, and eventually Twitter will detect that you are artistic enough for Jeff, and they will just add my tweets to your timeline. <laughs> Until then, nice. just yeah, enjoy yeah, me yeah. on these other shows. Yeah. Yeah, you did say that you'll uh, you'll read anybody uh, you'll read anything somebody tells you to. So can you please say uh, out loud, subscribe to the cunt stream. Subscribe to the cunt stream. Yo, yo, put that. That's in the your first intro. time we've had a French Canadian fucking uh, <laughs> acknowledge the stream. Awesome. And, and uh, no, don't no ever one watch it. Yeah, but we, we, we are we the terrible 23rd. thing. We are on the twenty third of December. Christmas is coming. Love to everyone. This is a beautiful time. It was a beautiful stream. And uh, I, even if it's the internet, I feel like there are like Christmas decorations in this stream. Yeah. And I feel the, the ambience of Christmas, even if there is, I, I don't see any, um, any coniferous tree. I don't see any little Jesus uh, under the tree. But I feel the the ambience of Christmas in all of you. And I are you in, are you in the ho ho spirit, JF? Is that what you're trying yeah. to say? You in the ho ho? Exactly. Spirit? <laughs> uh, shut up, nerd. You can't watch fucking eighties commercials with me. Uh, I've, I've said it. You know, from, you know. Hey, if you're in the Deep fucking ho ho spirit, uh, I you better you, watch JF, the Kumite yeah. against ranting monkey. You know, you know, I agree with you, uh, uh, JF. By the way, it's it's been great. It's been a great fucking year, and I can't wait for more of these streams. Uh, I'll I'll be inviting JF a lot more often, and other people as well. Uh, about and also just so everyone knows, uh, we could got Adam from Your Movie Sucks. Um, he's gonna hopefully come up. Well, he actually messaged me to be on. He's like a really big YouTuber who does movie review stuff. I We're just gonna... watched his collaboration with I Hate Everything. Oh yes, yeah. See, I, like I'm hoping you can get. I hate everything here. We're gonna like do some science streams. Some things have like have different YouTubers. It's gonna be a fucking. Look, Andy, Andy, Andy just just say just say it. Fuck the skeptics. You're you're, you're leaving the community. All right, you're fuck done. the skeptics. Let's do it, guys. Let's do what we want. Let's you're fucking moving kill out. it. Let's kill it, guys. Everyone, and by the way, thank you for everyone who donated. You you guys have been helping me out so much, and the show will. We'll go on. We have new cameras on the way. We're going to do like a Joe Rogan style, multiple cameras. I'm using XSplit. I have Tommy C. Shout out to Tommy C. Um, who is helping me uh, set up XSplit and make a better looking show. So on the future streams, they look a lot better and more show like. I'm going to make an intro. I'm going to have like animators make shit. It's going to be fucking awesome. Everyone, see you later. And everyone, it should be in about three minutes. Medicare guys, three fucking, fucking minutes. minutes. Of the Medicare video. Guys, you know where to go from here. This is the pre Medicare stream. Guys, Merry Christmas uh, or whatever you fucking celebrate. I do nah, Christmas. It's Christmas. So, go, so, so, so go, go fuck your mother. Yeah, happy fucking Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and whatever the fuck you celebrate. It yeah, is and, the holidays. Enjoy and, it. And I personally, yeah, tomorrow it's Christmas Eve. I have to buy presents tomorrow morning because it was supposed to be today and I forgot it was the day before Christmas Eve because I wanted to stream because I'm addicted. You waited until fuck fucking day. Christmas Eve. I needed my fi Every I Christmas Eve, I've, I've went shopping. Every Christmas Eve. This is the first year I've actually bought shit beforehand, but I've never waited till fucking Christmas Eve. That's me, man. Anyway, guys, go subscribe to everyone. We'll see you all on the next Warsky Live. Peace.